after immune. How is everyone? As for me, I'm all right. I feel kind of exhausted lately, but it's just so much going on. Live Alive's coming out this month. Hello, Boogums. Hello, Jackie Wags. JD. Miray. Firehawk. Schnitzel. Murky. And hello, Taco King.
Yeah, I preloaded Live Alive the other day. Well, yesterday. Yesterday's the other day, right? <laughs> yeah, it's less than a week at this point, and I still have streams to get through. So we gotta finish Arcturus. We gotta finish Arcturus. <laughs> yeah, it feels like I cast Explosion and now I'm out of MP. <laughs> it's going well, Two-Face. Chaos and fire is rising here. It's quite entertaining. Warm, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... When we last left our heroes, the world had ended. Again. And... They got into the Ark. Noah. And so we are in the dungeon, Noah as we try to figure out a way to stop God. So, you know, RPG things. <laughs> Hello, Enigma. And thank you so much, Bookums, for subbing. I can't believe you've been subbed for four months now. That's a third of a year. Okay, let's get started with the game, since I've given you your <laughs> extremely brief recap. <laughs> Those who have missed the rest of the Arcturus streams are still going to be pretty lost, but that's okay. It's a cool game. Yeah, thank you so much for your support. I'm glad I'm providing content that's worth it. So we have to get up to the top floor of Noah, and that involves finding the switch on each level so that we can get to the next level. Suffice to say, it's a kind of tedious dungeon, but it is the penultimate dungeon, so we're almost there, you know? Since I didn't explicitly say hi to you, hi, orthogonality. <laughs> I've missed seeing you around these parts. What is a man? What are we here? Oh, the power switch is on the floor? A miserable little pile of secrets! <laughs> well, the power's on. Let's see, the sixth floor has three items that I need to get. So we're going to be going from room to room, tediously. Especially considering one of the items is Rudra's bow, and that'll be good on Selene. Ah, Zergers. What a shame. But my OBS is slightly struggling today. I wonder why. Eh, it'll probably work itself out. It usually does. <laughs> Silly Firehawk. <laughs> that, 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 that does seem like a strategy, doesn't it? Here's a chest. Chimetti. Is that finally a better... Well, it's kind of better. But still, finally a better whip for Eloard, kind of. I guess I'll use it. Don't worry too much about me picking up tons of stuff. There is a storage box in the basement. So I won't have to worry too much about getting over encumbered. Did I remember to put Kaiser Knuckle on? Yeah.
Some of these hallways don't have an explicit BGM defined, so they just continue whichever BGM was playing before. There's Rudra's bow and some sagebrush. Let's see. Yep, Rudra's bow is great. Okay, we can go on to the next. We can go on to the next uh, floor. Let's see. Schnitzel says, I've been meaning to post this on Twitter. I've been thinking about something you said on a stream, that you can't be constantly angry after a moment that has already passed. Lately you found yourself stopping to think, is this moment really worth being upset over? I know in context the quote regarded video games, but I've applied that to my personal life and I can feel myself calming down faster. Well, I'm really happy to hear that, Schnitzel. That's, that's exactly the kind of thing that I would like to convey to people and help them with. I'm really glad that it's helped you. That means the world to me. Okay, floor seven has three treasures. It also has some good item drops from the enemies, apparently, so I should fight some of the enemies here. It definitely does. If it has anything, it's a good OSP. <laughs> Zap! There are enemies in this dungeon on this floor that can drop an item called a dash ring. And I probably don't need to tell you guys how good a dash ring would be considering speed is the most important stat in the game easily. So I need to figure out what enemy drops the dash ring. Hi Chaotic Claw, how's it going? So it's specifically this floor because it doesn't look like the items dropped by enemies on the other floors are particularly meaningful. But the enemies drop a bunch of interesting gear on this floor. Why that is, I don't know. There's a lot of odd things about this game in terms of balance. It doesn't seem like it's those enemies, at least. It's honestly hard to read the map properly to really figure out which area is which. Because it all... it's all pretty much the same, right? I'm sorry to hear that, Grilson. You did you did well in a previous one though, right? Ooh. Well, you'll get him next time. It's all for the love of the game. <laughs> Wow, 
one of the best points of comparison to the game's soundtrack is probably Ragnarok Online, since it's the same composers, basically. Thank you, Schnitzel. Enjoy your lurk. This game essentially... Ragnarok Online was basically the sequel to this game. Legitimately. Are we gonna shut down the ma master computer? Well... We're gonna shut down the Elizabeth engine, I think, so yes, actually. Dungeon Fighter related to Ragnarok, only in the sense that they're both Korean online games. They keep dropping status heal items. Whoa. Whoa. What is this thing? Why does it sound like some sort of pterodactyl? And glass. These things keep dropping status heals. <laughs> it's actually kind of concerning. It back <laughs> that's, that's actually very creative. Another sand glass. It's hard to tell what the drop rates are and what enemies are supposed to drop what items. I just gotta experiment a bit. If I could get some dash rings though, that would just be... that would be swell. And Nexon is a completely different company. They're one of the rivals of Gravity from those days. Nowadays, Nexon is doing a lot better than Gravity is, I think. I feel like Gravity was never really the same after the bankruptcy. Kind of like SNK. Headphones and boxing gloves. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what to make of this. Finally, a better headgear for Tenzi. <laughs> He's just gonna be wearing headphones from now on. <laughs> Actually, he's also gonna be wearing boxing gloves. No, right? The fact that headphones are a late game headgear. That's that's beautiful.
You'd think that the boxing gloves would be a fist weapon that Sis could use, but they aren't. Yeah, the battle theme is different in the final chapter. Not that the old one was bad at all, but to say that it kicked it up a notch would be accurate. Like, it's more stressful instead of being so rock. Ow. Come on, you jerk. That was my favorite face. That ought to do it. And there's so many snakes. Sorry about that. Well, basically retro, basically. It's a lot to explain. <laughs> so much stuff happens in Arcturus that if you don't follow the game from the start, you eventually end up completely at a loss. Like, on one hand, that means the game has a very strong narrative in which a lot of interesting things happen, but on the other hand, it means that <laughs> when it comes to streaming it, viewers just end up completely lost eventually if they miss one stream. Ah yes, the zombies. They go, woo.
Yes, that move. At least we're getting a bunch of EXP. I don't know that we need it, but we're getting it. Like, realistically, a lot of people would have stopped fighting the battles by now entirely. But I know that the dash rings would be extremely useful. Vegas. Now that is a darn fine game. Understandable, understandable. My favorite RPGs are Live Alive and this game. Oh, mermaids. Oh no, I is stuck in the wall. I think I'll just run on this. That's better. Get how that goes. I'm perhaps just too retro. <laughs> you know me, I, I stream retro games. 
occasionally something else, but I'm a retro streamer, like many of my friends. Well, you know, that means that you get to discover a lot of things, right? Sometimes life is like that, too. And discovering new things is one of the best things about life, I think. It's really easy to forget that. And just get stuck in what you're comfortable with. I myself tend to stick a little too closely to things that I know too well, but... I'm working on that. I'm working on that. Always working on that. At the same time, you just know I'm going to end up streaming a million more runs of the Super Metroid and the Link to the Past combo randomizer. It's going to happen, but even so, you know, you're going to see me try plenty of new things over time too. Next game up after Arcturus is Toho Alive, which, while it's related to Live Alive, obviously, I've never played it. So we're going to be discovering that together. Yeah, it's really good, and they extended it so much, like... Yeah, the, the 80 year old grandma doesn't, doesn't play Dark Souls, she plays Skyrim. Hello, me. How are you doing? I'll play something like that eventually, but it's just not to my general taste, so we'll see. If a lot of people want it though, I'm sure it'll happen eventually. You'll be playing poker because card games will be all we have after the nuclear apocalypse of 2023. And just like in Fallout, we will never develop any more society, even after we recover from all of that. We will just be sitting there in dirt and rubble, and buildings built, built out of dirt and rubble, playing card games that are ancient. I don't make the rules, it's just how it works. And some people will be driving around all Mad Max-like. Like, I'm sure my sister Layla will be one of those Mad Max types. Or it could be Metal Max, who knows. We'll start to fight about the Monopoly rules. Oh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but we already fight about the Monopoly rules. Ha! Ha! 
You don't have to go around the board to start buying things. That's not how the rule works. We'll all have collectively forgotten the rules to Uno and proceed to make it up as we go along. <laughs> Don't we already do that? To the point that the Uno official Twitter account had to correct people on the rules, and people were like, no, that's not the rules, in response to the official Twitter. Like, I remember that. That it was... <laughs> it was great. Man, none of these have dropped any equipment. Maybe I should just not worry about it and keep moving. be naked and have equipment, but we don't really talk about that here. <laughs> I don't know. They might have dash rings? And I want dash rings. I don't know, nymphs? That's my guess. I could probably check the bestiary. Mips. <laughs> mips, mips, mips. No captions, no. Let's see, diary, records. Monster, human. They don't seem like they are under human, actually. This just seems to have actual humans in it. Okay, um, others? Ground? Succubus. Okay, that makes sense. Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Gravity, have you ever seen a buffalo? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
Oh my god. That, that's great. That's rich. <laughs> I can't believe that rhino enemy is called a buffalo. And that zerglers are considered flying enemies for some reason. Whatever shall I do? You know, I think at least one of those instances of Buffalo is not supposed to be capitalized, but yeah. Oh, that thing got erased. I was coming out of here, right? Not going in? Oh, dragons. not lost, but you have to kind of exhaustively explore these floors to find the power switch, because none of the doorways are labeled or anything. <laughs> oh, Ortho? That's good. I love programming humor. But normally, people who program humor are called comedians. Thanks for the hydration reminder, me, Ray. all sandals. That is a fantastic drop. Really somebody can use that because those are those are really good shoes. It's a straight up upgrade for Tenzi. So I'm gonna put it on him. Oh it's the power switch. Look at the list of items in this floor again. Yeah, I'm missing something. I mean, it's up to you guys what you do, but I'm not sure I can advertise art if it's too saucy. <laughs> yeah. We're working on summer art right now, and uh, me and Renee, and um, I don't think I'm going to be able to show that on stream, but I will show it on Twitter when it's when it's done. I mean, I have twin tails here.
Sorry, just uh, trying to Discord. I shouldn't be multitasking. I gotta finish the game. I'm still missing one item from this floor, aren't I? Hmm. And I still don't know what half of these things drop. If anything of meaning besides status heals. Oops, I didn't mean to run away. Oh well, I guess we're running now. Are these just the rooms I've already been in earlier? I'm sure I've been in here already. I must have missed the other item chest. Imagine having to go all through this again. <laughs> but that's what happens when you're at the end of the game, right? group, Maria could really use more speed. I guess she heard me because she leveled up and got some more speed. Really would love those dash rings that are supposed to be able to drop here. XP though. For most of the game we've been over leveled wherever we went. For once we're not going to be over leveled. I mean under leveled. We've been under leveled for wherever we've gone. For once we're not going to be under leveled. That's what I meant to say. See I can speak English. Comprende? Yeah, that map is really not helpful to me at all. Even so, let's see if I can read it, kind of. Okay, I kind of see. 
So if the item is supposed to be an L, and to get to L I have to... Go this way. Wow. high attack, but it makes her even slower. It's two-handed, though. heck. Okay, so supposedly if I fight the enemies that are in this uh, hallway I might be able to get the dash rings I'm looking for. Now that I've confirmed on the map which places are supposed to be which. I was going to tell Maria to get out and put Eloard in, but Eloard is even slower. Let's... Can I really do anything about that, though? Not really. Hmm. Not exactly ideal. These are about the same speed as Celine without her armor on. But Celine doesn't have to walk to the enemy to hit them, so there's that. These enemies aren't dropping anything, interesting. You know what? I'm just tired of this status. So it's a plug for thing. Oh, that was that wasn't even the right character. Okay, um I don't have anything to cure mummification. Oh well. Guess that's just how it is then. Until I get back to the save point.
Yeah, that doesn't work. I don't know why I thought it might. Does the eighth floor have a save point? The sixth floor does. Granted, I don't remember which room it's in. Well, how about that? Okay, no more mummification. For now. Granted, I'm still not even sure that mummification actually does anything of meaning, aside from preventing you from dying. Um. Yep, swords. Look at how slow Maria is. Uh. And it would be borderline impossible to make meaningful use of Elevard and Pansy unless I... Hmm. Come to think of it, Peach is not available. Huh. Okay, well. Hi, Dragon Cat Man, how's it going? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Yeah, supposedly these swords can drop dash rings. It would be great if they did. I'm not gonna stay here too long, but... If I end up getting these two a couple levels, then that's worth it. 
I just don't want to have a stream made up of a bunch of grinding when I am trying to get to the end of the game. <laughs> having better speed for Maria, I guess, be extremely useful. Zweihander. What a piece of crap weapon! <laughs> oh well. Oh, I should put her stuff back on her since... yeah. Another spy hander. Oh boy. <laughs> Thanks for the hydration reminder. <laughs> I didn't expect Firebolt to do that much damage. What the heck? What the? Hey, hey, sword, get off the ceiling. Hey, sword, get down here. <laughs> now there's Vihander. And we're over in cover. <laughs> Too many swords! What a shame. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna have to walk to the basement. That's okay, these things happen. I wish it just let you go straight to a floor, but it doesn't. I don't need all these. Wait, holy water doesn't weigh anything. What am I doing?
Wait, why doesn't holy water weigh anything if the poison cures weigh something? That's kind of... Huh. Okay, I'll only do another set of fights on the seventh floor, then we'll move on. Like, I just want to make sure that I've tried my best to get... Oh, melons are zero weight, yeah. I'll try my best to get dash ring from this set of battles. Plugs, um, you use them to cure poison. For some reason. There is at least one storage box in the last dungeon, so if any of that gear becomes more useful by then, I can make use of it. It's just a matter of having the speed to spare, you know? It's ridiculous how important the speed stat is in this game. Oh great, another Zvalianter. It's just what I needed! Okay, stuck in the wall. So that one's gonna be a wash. That's a good question, Gnosis. Uh, 2000. are carrying bags. Yeah, I don't think it's a very good idea. One thing I will say about this game Granted, I say a lot of things about this game, considering it's one of my favorites of all time. Is that the inventory management really requires you to think about your choices. There's so many legitimate factors to weigh against others, like items that give you more weight limits, items that increase your barrier points, items that are better for your speed. Like, balancing speed against everything else is always the biggest issue. And I just think that's interesting. Anyway, they didn't drop anything, so we're gonna move on. Okay, this is the 8th floor. There's only one treasure chest. Got it. Um, Izar Thustra? Um, you know... Give me a moment, Dragon Cat Man. I have... Art.
Hey, Brian. So, where was I going? Not this room, the one next to it. Dragons! Eh, yeah, they're not too tough. Okay, I got a stun gun. You know, typical RPG item. The only person who can use it is Sizz? It doesn't even count as a dagger or anything, it counts as a shock. Shock. It looks like an okay item, but... <laughs> not really so practical. Stop. <laughs> yeah, the nth drop is way too big for Sizz. Oh, I don't want to fight those. Ah. Why would you put the switch up there? This is gonna suck. <laughs> Got it in the first try! Man, I'm good. Especially considering how clunky the jumping controls are. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit, that is what happened. <laughs> One time, Sarah Lene. Oh, it's these chainsaw guys again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the platforming in this game is terrible, but there's really only like two or three instances of it in the entire game, so... I guess it's not that bad that it has some platforming, considering the platforming instances that are there aren't that bad. I mean, they're kind of bad. The ones in Constellarium are pretty... difficult. Um... But basically, I think there's, fortunately, little enough of it in the game that it's not a big deal. Thankfully. funny how far behind these two are in levels. Like, I is level 62, and even says it's almost level 60.
Hey, Cleaver. What in the heck? It's a straight up better axe for Maria. It even, it's, it even, she's even faster with it. It weighs a lot though, gosh. What a good weapon. Uh, this is a PC, this is a PC game. And, um, I don't know if it even supports analog, to be honest. I just use mouse and keyboard. Because for the most part, mouse and keyboard feels way more natural for this, much like Trails in the Sky. Okay, so which one is it? G. I'm glad I figured out the map. Let's see how the switch is in this one. Um, maybe I didn't figure out the map. I just gotta make sure. Like, I feel like I wouldn't have gotten that wrong. Oh. Of course I got it wrong. I was looking at the wrong floor. And yeah, the, the fact that there's mouse controls makes it manageable. Still not ideal, but manageable. Because there's some level of precision there. I've got to bully fairies. I don't like bullying fairies. It makes winter sad. Mouse controls are good when you need precise movement and don't have analog as an option for that. Like, it's a very particular situation. Yeah, exactly. It's not that it's great, it's that it's better than your weakest, uh, better than, you know, your weakest options available to that situation. Yeah, see, this game would have good controller support if it were a little more recent. With Trails in the Sky, I'm pretty sure that I put X input support in the game, so that pretty much any analog device would work. But back in the direct input era, you have to really worry about what API is being used by the game and things like that. And 
if your controller is standard enough, because direct input doesn't provide any information about what any part of the controller does, for the most part. Aside from, this is a button, this is an axis, this is a point of view hat. Um, I'm not saying X input is better, but it is a better standard because direct input really isn't standard at all. So like, if a game like this had a modern port by somebody of my caliber, you would get good support for controls. But at the time it came out, that wasn't really something you could count on. Why am I fighting these? These are insanely hard. There's the button. I should really go heal. Mouse control is less bad for a racing game than you might imagine. It's not great, but, but why does it make you do that? Because lazy scripting. That's really the only reason. Like, they could definitely have made it allow you to teleport to all the floors, and I know this because I made a debug room for this game, and I could put something like 10 menu options on screen at once. So. There's a safe point on this floor, right? I'm pretty sure there's a safe point on the second floor. I just don't know where it is. Uh, I know where the one on the sixth floor is. Oh man, nothing like you would be expecting. Is the wrong one, I think. It's the one with the wheels. Yeah, this one. Oh, so this is still dead, right? Because I haven't. Because I'm looking for the save point, silly me. I would be extremely hyped. I would agree to it in a heartbeat. I have always wanted to work on an official localization and improvement of this game. It's actually my dream project. So, yeah, I would be extremely hyped if that ever happened.
The thing is, I'm pretty sure Sonori, as it is now, is not the same as Sonori back then. And Gravity is definitely not the same now as it was back then. Like, they got, they went bankrupt and got absorbed by Gonko. Um, I would be surprised if the source code of the game still exists. Let's see, Mirage Robin K, okay. Got it. Uses. No, just these two. Let's see, what doorway? H. Okay, H. That's H is... This is the room you'll find H in. What the? It's right next to the door! <laughs> That's the one place I would have been the least likely to look. Okay, those are bosses, basically. I don't want to fight them. Eesh. Okay, where's the correct exit? F. Okay. <laughs> That's not a normal power switch. Come on. Okay, here we are on the top floor. This is hands down one of the best equipable items in the game.
It's basically like schoolgirl socks that you would wear if you were a Japanese or Korean schoolgirl. I guess. I don't think those are in style anymore, though. in this room unless I miscounted rooms again. But where? Ah. Nothing happens. Okay. I don't think that's how going to school works. Maybe when I play a game in which the main character goes to school, I'll end up being drawn as a schoolgirl. <laughs> Auxiliary power started. Will the auxiliary power allow me to start the main power? Is that how we're doing this? Cherry tree high. You know what's funny? I almost never stream any games that I've actually worked on. Starting the main power generator will restore power. Okay. Main power generator in operation. Let's save the game. And I don't know where the nearest save point is, so you know what that means. Oh boy. I didn't work on Guru Meme. <laughs> Look, it's the Elizabeth engine. Gaia theory. Is that like chaos theory?
Before we start, I am a member of the second department of social science, part of the Ephafatha Foundation. I am Dr. Lee Hyun Ki, the leader of the Elizabeth Project. I write this article because the processes I've been observing in the simulation were so close to what we've been going through. Its outcome was so disastrous that I felt a need to write about where our society, I will use the term public from now on, is going and what public should be. I expect this article to generate many discussions because it's very radical and requires revolutions in many different places. However, to make an ideal world, some amount of sacrifice is inevitable. I am prepared to accept every small sacrifice that I need to. I also urge you to accept my proposal objectively, creating a committee to work on this as soon as possible. About the Elizabeth Project. The Elizabeth Project was a research project that aimed to simulate different changes in society depending on different conditions and environments. For this research, the second department of DSEF invented the Elizabeth Engine, which can simulate a virtual society. We have created objects, which we call dolls, that can think and act just like humans in the virtual society. We simulated various changes of social structures in many respects. For example, ancient society, feudal society, communism, capitalism, and the society to come. At first, the dolls could be created by the researchers who had the privilege of administration. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Yoko Taro played this. After that, however, we gave them a reproduction me mechanism so that they could multiply by themselves. We even simulated the feelings of love and hatred so that new dolls could be reproduced in a similar way to public society as possible. Gamma phase. After going through much evolution, revolution, variation, disaster, and war, they reached the gamma phase. In the gamma phase, some of them started to contact the public society. However, the researchers prohibited making any kind of contact or showing any form of reaction, lest it should affect the virtual society. Beta phase. We witnessed the dolls trying to create their own virtual world. At this stage, the researchers concluded that the dolls were trying to find out about their creation and would ultimately try to come out to the public society. I objected to suspending the engine at this phase. However, the cowardly researchers, fearing that their society would be ruined by those dolls, shut down the engine and removed the dolls. Gaia theory. Our society, public society, carries the same problem. Humans came to know how to live forever by sacrificing other humans. We have already made a virtual society of our own and played God. Humans hurt other people for their own benefit, and weak people are sacrificed to continue strong people's lives. This only makes a selfish society working only for the privileged upper class. If this continues, every person will be sacrificed until only the most selfish one remains. If we're going to go through such a disaster, then even if there was a better solution that required some sacrifice, it would be best to adopt that solution. With that in mind, I hereby propose a way to construct the perfect society. One, transformation to network-based individuals connected to a central server. Do we really have to actually breathe, walk, and eat to live on? We've already invented many virtual reality devices that make people sense things. Because the people feel too many corrupted pleasures from their senses, I thought of a way to transmit the client, meaning each individual, only authorized senses that are strictly controlled by a server. In order to accomplish this, I propose that every registered person would be put into a marginal sleeping state and have their consciousness connected to a server. This way, the whole society can be made into a large network. Transformation of the society into a network, this is the main point of Gaia theory. Reformation of social structure. Each client is synchronized with the society itself. They can share all of their thoughts thanks to the continuous transmission of data between each other. This prevents people from hurting each other for their own benefit. 3. When they realize the great society structure, they will reach the gamma phase. They will stay in a steady, peaceful state of society forever. All of the clients will be assimilated with Gaia itself, and one will not be separated from the others. 4. Restriction on number of clients. After many experiments, we have found that society cannot be managed efficiently if too many clients are connected to one block. This is due to data overload. The ideal number was found to be 1,000 clients per block. Therefore, I propose the formula for the central server. Uh, I propose that the number of clients should be restricted according to the following formula for the central server. I skipped over a line somehow. 
12 zones times 12 blocks times 1,000 clients equals 144,000 clients. I will call this central server God. God will be able to maintain the most ideal form of society. If society gets any larger, it has to be able to contain its own instability. 4. Implementation Solution I understand that the concept of limiting the number of people to 144,000 and making a somewhat surreal society is unacceptable for many people. However, the life of a person is not eternal, and not everyone can be a magi. A magi. A magus. You know, a magi. The process to select the 144,000 clients and connect them to the server should be carried out in complete secrecy. After that, by placing the server and clients in a perfectly fortified structure, Gaia will continue to exist even if all of the remaining people are destroyed. The most efficient form for this fortified structure would be to build 12 zones each on 12 floors, situated within 12 corresponding blocks circularly on each floor. The central server, God, should be placed at the core. Each floor would then have a hub surrounded by the 12 blocks. This circular formation would resemble a torus. For this reason, I named this fortress Arcturus, since it is an arc resembling a torus. <laughs> it's all resembling a pre Judeo Christian caste system. Yeah, it is. It is. Resembling a donut. System functioning normally. Access file? Yes. Year 1999. Using all of our technological might, we built a weapon that could defeat the apostles. Deicider. It can be used to fire a concentrated particle of heat. Apostles are supposedly weak to this kind of attack. However, this weapon needs a tremendous amount of energy, and the only energy that can produce enough is nuclear energy. Nuclear energy, an energy so powerful it was sealed away. There is no other way, so we have no choice. Humanity will not perish obediently. I think I just skipped over an entire thing. And since I did skip over an entire thing without thinking, let me see if I can find it. I found it. Year 1999. Is there no future for mankind? Deicider, the weapon we thought would defeat the apostles, only managed to scar us deeply. A scar named Despair. Using our nuclear-powered Deicider, we did manage to defeat one of the apostles. However, the power of the Deicider was so great that it had also blown off half of the continent. Many people, many countries and their people were annihilated in just an instant. My fatherland, the Iberian Peninsula, was amongst them. If we keep using the Deicider, we will wipe ourselves out before we manage to defeat all the apostles. Most scientists know, that know about this have already given up their research. However, a small number of scientists are still looking for a replacement for the Deicider. I personally think this is futile. Year 2000. Humanity has always been quite tenacious and prone to surviving, hasn't it? 
We lost two-thirds of the world's population, but we finally found a way to survive. The Ark Project. The plan is to build a ship that would withstand everything, put a select number of people in it, then entrust them with the future of mankind. We exceeded all projections in building it, and our Ark is now almost done. I'm certain that if we manage to complete it, humanity has a fair chance to survive. The crew members list will soon be announced. I hope my name will be on the list. I don't want to die here, not like that. Year 2000. I am inside the Ark right now. That means this entry might be my diary's last. The Ark is completed and a list of, 14, of 144,000 crew members has been published. I am amongst them. I feel bad for the ones that have not been chosen and have to stay, but humanity must survive, you have to understand. People outside have lost all hope, they just keep praying for God's salvation. It had been a long time since I last saw people calling for God from the bottom of their souls. How ironic. The weapon they built in order to destroy the apostles destroyed mankind itself. In the end, people from the old world just built an ark and fled. Damn it. We came all the way down here and it was all for nothing. Never mind. Let's go back. Oh boy. No, but Falcom was definitely heavily inspired by this game and they probably based quite a bit of Trails in the Sky off of it, even if the story here is much more religious than Trails in the Sky. Whatever, I'm fine. What in the... Well, this is a little concerning. Um... Oh boy. It seems uninvited guests are here. Impure humans are forbidden here in the center of the new world to be. You shall be sent to hell for the sake of this new era. Hyunki. Why? Why did all this? Please answer me. Why do you always make me miserable? How long will you keep playing with me? <laughs> I do have to thank you. It's thanks to you that I've acquired the perfect body. This doesn't make me happier. Please tell me, Hyunki. What are you gonna do with me? Magis are useless in a kingdom of a thousand years I will build. You're the last remaining Magi. I understand your death wish. There is much I owe you, though. It's time for me to put your mind at ease. Come, Jaysuk. Come with me. Let's build a new world together. A new world? Here's your reward for all your help. Come with me and let's rule the new world together. Control, I mean. How great it will be. Junki. Selene, don't let them- don't let him fool you. You can't believe what that bastard's saying. Thank you for the follow, Barry. <laughs> I can never say that last name. I'm so sorry. I know how to say it, but it always eludes my my memory. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Barry. Like I always forget it when I actually have to say it. Yeah, Nuin. What I used to love about you was the way you looked at every, f every, f everything filled with curiosity. At the time, there was always a pure childlike spark in your eyes. 
I've been waiting for so long for that side of yours to come back. Celine. It seems you've changed forever, though. I'm tired now. I'm not gonna keep waiting for you. What do you mean? I really hate you now. <laughs> then you shall just die. Oh boy, one of the angels got in. An apostle? What the hell? Has he been called here? Ooh, beautiful angel, an angel has come. He came to judge us. Oh boy. An apostle, give death to the sinful devil's po proxy. Punish this flare. Oh, Mire. Why did you... You are Mithras. You're a Mazda's proxy. You cannot die here. Why did you give your life to save me? Why would you do that? But that's not all. Why then? I don't want you to die. What did you say? I refuse to see you die. Damn you. You're a Mazda. If you really exist, give me your strength, please. Where are we? Are we dead? No, we're not dead yet. I'm ashamed to think we could have died. I want to live. But where are we? Did you hear something? It sounded like someone's voice, but... There, the voice is coming from over there. Let's have a look. And the color banding here. You have done well, my son. Who are you? I am Ahura Mazda, the creator, your mother. Mother? You are my son Mithras. Your name in the physical realm is Sis. You know me? Idiot, that's the real Ahura Mazda. It's Ahura Mazda. I recognize the voice. My son. You have been my eyes in the world for a very long time. Now you will become my hand and strike down evil. I shall give you all the power that I have. What? How could you... M my body burns! D did you stop it? For how long are you going to go against God's will? Phew. So you ran away. It's fine. We'll see him soon. I won't let him get away! He's nothing to me anymore, just an enemy to defeat. Selene. You truly are a force to reckon with. I, Jacques de Millet, have a request for you. Please, find a way to save the world. Please. <laughs> what a nice guy. Please. <laughs> I don't want to see your face. Get lost! Flight control system, offline. Your Excellency, you have to run to safety. How could we escape? We'll warp to the ground before it crashes. It might be a big blast, so be careful. The Ark will crash in five minutes. Please go to the nearest shelter. Let's go! Also, we've got art. Everybody looks alright. Let's we'll split into two groups and look for Elizabeth. It's the last chance to prepare and equip ourselves. Think about it carefully. Okay, so I'm gonna save the game before I show art. I gotta, gotta pull up the art. 
Give me a sec. I had to say first because the game might crash if I don't. Sometimes it be like that. Like the game might crash anyway and I might have to deal with the fact that it crashed. <laughs> that sort of situation. Okay, so... Here's the art we have. <laughs> art. I guess I'm the one who's overpowered now. And beating people up with the... <laughs> with the holy fire bell. <laughs> Thank you, Dragon Cap Man. It's lovely. It really is. Oh, apparently so. Um, let's see. As far as heart chokers are concerned, did I have? Yeah, hers was not a heart. <laughs> so that's just a touch that, that's a little touch that, um, oh, that's just how my hair is. My hair just happens to have a heart on it, see? So that's a little touch of Dragon Cat Man's putting a heart there on the choker. <laughs> Can you cut my hair? No, I'm afraid not. It, it instantly grows back. I feel like I'm just going to take the same party I was already using. But I should check if Peach can use... Wait. Can't remove anybody from the party unless... Will it let me reorganize that one? Yeah, it will. Okay. So let's see if any of these items that I've picked up along the way are useful to these characters. Because if they are, then maybe one of those characters will be of use. Uh, it's certainly a thing. Like, it's an extremely long game if you don't know what you're doing, honestly. But it's such a good game, too. I've always loved this game. A lot. Hmm. Four, three, four, four ninety six. But I bet he can't use any of his skills with that. How about with this one? Yeah, he can use it with this one. How about with this one? Yep. So that's a pretty good sword on him. And as I expected, Peach can use the stun gun. level are they? They are behind. 304 speed. Yeah, I think I'm sticking to the party I already had. Alright, have fun, Barry. Mm, do I want Tenzi or...
Let's see, Peach seems like the better choice here, honestly. I like Tenzi, but yeah, if I if I need someone, Peach is gonna be more, more useful. Um the party looks pretty good. Look at look at I's speed. 752. That's that's insane. Did Elevard ever stop being a jerk? Yes. After he killed his brother. And had a pretty nasty wake-up call. So, welcome to Eden. too real to be eaten. I basically don't want to fight most of the battles here because they're just a waste of time. Oh gosh, that's not much damage. What? Am I dead? What the heck are you saying? I've never felt more alive! <laughs> Always check the traffic lights before crossing roads. Noted, I guess. My car, my beautiful BWN. My car, damn it, I still had loans to pay. Who the heck did that? <laughs> oh my god, that's so dumb. I love it. So, yeah, this is the last dungeon, Eden. It is an extremely large place with a lot of items to be found, and the last boss lays within. No idea since I've never really played anything like Metal Mac. Stand clear of the shattering doors, please. Reminder RPG. It's basically not worth fighting battles anymore. Like, I'm already pretty decently leveled. Oh, 
Okay. Um. It's really easy to get lost in here. And yeah, she really doesn't. Another one? I don't need two of that sword. I usually think of when I think of treasure chests. It's going well, I think, Adam. For once, I don't think I'll have to grind, although I kind of did earlier without really meaning to. Can I reach that from anywhere? No, it looks like I put it just far away enough. Useful, but it might be. Anti riot armor. Hmm. It kind of has a huge defense reduction. Okay, I think I'm almost to the next platform. Escape failed? Oh, phew. Uh oh. Boss fight. Who's there? Well done, Sis Flair. You pig, you're still alive? You didn't look good before, but you really are grotesque now. Alright, this time you really are going down for good. You! Do you dare say the body God awarded me is grotesque? God, really? You mean the devil, right? Bastard. I will not forgive your blaspheme. Die! Probably shouldn't be grouping up this much, but I don't know. Selene, where are you going? Is she stuck? Two! Two! Okay. Okay. Level 82. Hmm. Okay. Ha! Ha! What element is this guy? Holy. Oh boy. Okay.
Okay, uh... I'm kind of seeing a problem here. I just killed someone on my own team. Oops. I was like, surely it will work if I instant kill him if he's this powerful, right? Worst idea possible. Particularly working here, so. Wait a moment. I think I remember. It's not particularly useful though, because while four people are alive, I can't switch in somebody who already died. In fact, okay, I'm gonna have to load. You really want me to grind up to level 80? As you can see, Vazerald is kind of effective. Oh great, confusion. <laughs> Yeah. 
I don't think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna win this battle this way. There's definitely something I'm missing somewhere. And it's probably something more obvious than I think. Because I don't think it actually expects me to grind out 20 levels all of a sudden. If it does, though, then we'll do it. But there's other options. It seems to me he just has way too much defense. Like, simply in general. That's a good question. Kind of thinking about that now. The guide doesn't give any information on how to fight bosses. It just doesn't. Oh, oh, sorry. But the thing is, I have been heavily referencing a guide, and yet it doesn't help at all in a situation like this. So it's awkward. That is unfortunate, yes. So at the moment, I'm just severely slowing him down. And trying to buff myself. Yeah. Viscous formation. This is mandatory, yes. Well, that kind of made her do more damage. Emphasis on kind of, though. I think they stack. I've never been 100% sure on it. And surely they only stack up to a point. Yeah, there's 3D enemies in this. They have a lot of HP. It has 14,000 HP.
Just a wee bit, yes. It's a small amount of HP for one person, I think. Oh, actually, it has 6,000 HP. The rest is barrier points. It has both. This is going to get ridiculous. I was probably supposed to level up. But I don't think that that means I have to. Possibly be worse than this LOR start of Act 2 section. I'm not so sure. Oh no, Sis is berserk. Um. There we go. Can I use Vazeralt again? Yes, I can. I feel 110% sure that this is not the intended way to do this fight. Like, how could this possibly be the right way? Sarl anyway. <laughs> it's weird because like this guy isn't much of a threat, right? It's no use. The only problematic thing is that he keeps causing confusion. Wait a second. You're telling me throwing items do more damage to this guy than any of our attacks do? I think they are, but I'm not entirely sure. 
It's just... I didn't expect to find myself in this situation. Sadly, I don't have many of them, but... <laughs> Look at how much damage I did in a short time! <laughs> wow, that... <laughs> That's beautiful. It's terrible and it's beautiful. Destroys a barrier in an instant? Okay, no, that was rubbish. <laughs> Boo, get off the stage! <laughs> It's actually hard to hit him because Vads are all repeated damage keeps hitting him. I might just have to Vads are all him to death. I'm doing this. This is this is not this is not right. This can't possibly be right. If I can't fight him effectively, I you know what? Let's is it wrong if you still win? Let's take a look at... Wait a moment. The storage box is pretty far. Let's fight some things. Oh, this is a lot of enemies. This is more manageable. These are all level 80-ish. And I does not do much damage to them. This is not a good sign. It should level us up quick if we can kill them. Of course, Fire Pillar is still good. This is tough. Just beating normal enemies might not be very reasonable.
Why would the game suddenly take a 20 level jump? I mean, I'm hoping that these will give me a ton of EXP. I'm just not feeling too hopeful that they will. Like, I'm hoping, but not too much. <sighs> like, I managed to kill one, but... And can you believe we're using the fire pillar strategy for grunts now? Legit fire pillar is our best bet against these grunts. These Zakos. Maybe not that one, but definitely that one. Game, I love you, but you shouldn't have a difficulty cliff. I think even at the top of Noah, the enemies were much weaker than this and would have been much more manageable. So it's a very abrupt transition, you know. Okay, that takes care of everything but this one. This one's gonna be really hard to kill. Going back to Noah, unfortunately, I would have to reload the save point to do that. Reload the save from when I was in Noah. I might think about it depending on how hard grinding in Eden turns out to be. So far, the answer is pretty hard. <laughs> what the? Oh, because I used Tearfing. Seems like a big waste of Tearfing. If only it worked on the boss, though. You only get to use Tearfing three times. Then it disappears forever. And it doesn't seem to work on the boss. Unfortunately. Like, that was the first thing I tried after realizing how hard the fight was, was trying Tearfing on it. They've got Tearfing right here, right? But unfortunately it does it just does five damage.
It may actually be better to le level up in Noah first. And I can't believe I'm saying that because that sucks. Wait, are these... These are those enemies. Come on. So the top floor of Noah actually has these same enemies. Let's try floor 11 then. Game really expects me to grind to Noah? This seems manageable. Ah! My eyes! What in the heck? I'm alive. These enemies will just straight up erase someone, it seems. Yeah, it's kind of out of, out of reason right there. Man, there's gotta be a better save point. There's probably one on a higher floor. There should be a save point on the 12th floor, actually. If I'm understanding correctly, there should actually be a save point every three floors. So like 9, 6, 12, 3. Seems correct. <sighs> I can't believe I've gone back here. But it's not as if I really had a choice, right? I guess that otherwise it would kind of not matter. <laughs> like, uh, the stuff would just go by so fast if I didn't have to level up, I guess. I still think I shouldn't have to. Like, that's a difficulty cliff. Um, okay. Ha! 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 
But yeah, 10 levels, let alone 20, would make a lot of difference. But having to grind that much on stream is something I'm not exactly fond of doing. Kill these things. It takes a while though. Wonder how much EXP they give. I guess I took all the XP. Of course she did. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Of course she did. Okay, let's go back to the previous floor again. We need something that will be reasonable to kill and still give us reasonable EXP, right? Maybe the 10th floor. Leaf macho. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels that way. This stuff seems more our speed, depending on the EXP it gives. I gotta find the biggest guy in the room and then beat him over and over. <laughs> I mean... Have you seen how tiny Roto is? It's like half my height. Come on. You've seen him. He's like three foot. He's like three feet tall, tops. It's like dot level. Pretty sure there are several other men in this chat. <laughs> Man, they just keep insta killing me or something. Although I is having none of it. However, everyone's gotten really slow. Oh sure, now that there's only one of them, I'm much faster again. After I already spent a catalyst on Fire Pillar.
The only thing I'm worried about is if I use Fire Pillar too much, I'll run out of catalysts to use Fire Pillar. <laughs> I mean, sure, it'll take like 50 times, but... Oh god, these seahorses. I really don't want to fight these. These things are deadly. Those things look manageable, but not with two people. You're telling me there's no save point on the ninth floor? This is the ninth floor, right? Yeah, I'm on the ninth floor. Is that just the wrong terminal? There's gotta be a save point on the ninth floor. Like exactly opposite? Would that be where? No, there's one of these rooms on each floor, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm I'm going back to the twelfth floor then. Or the sixth floor. It's fine. Ah, yes. The sixth floor, word on the wind. Word on the wind, four on the floor. That's how that works. You know I can kill these things really fast. Are they any good EXP? Probably not. Things are basically no EXP. I kind of feel like EXP scales relative to level or something. I don't know that that's the case, but I've seen enough to feel that that's the case. This enemy group looks tough. Okay, it's not tough. Not if it's that weak to fire pillar. And in fact, even fire shower is pretty strong. What level is it? It's 58. These are level 58, they might be the bad.
They can show up in groups of simply two, huh? Thanks for the hydration reminder. <laughs> I see, I see. That's interesting. wasn't so great from that. But this large group is not so bad. Fire Shower missed almost everything that time. Well, Mirei, if you need to know, just log into FF14 and ask a dragoon. XP from that. <sighs> Seriously, nobody's ever going to catch up to I. Ever. I is just like, I'm so full from EXP, yum! I suppose that would be one way to do it. This is kind of crazy that the game decided to give me a difficulty cliff so steep that even I could not surmount it. Level 60, that's good. Progress is progress. And we are making progress. At a good pace right now, even. It's tedious, but you know. This is the end of the game. We may as well make sure that we do it right, I guess. As you can see, though, if the game expects you to be level 80, then you are absolutely at actual risk of hitting level 99 and experiencing the bug. For those who don't already know, the game has a bug where if you reach level 99, the game will crash. 
with an error message like, oh my god, because the EXP table does not have an entry for level 100, and the game expects one. And even if you add to the table, it does not really fix the bug. Especially because at level 99, you already have as much EXP as you can gain. That's unfortunate, Gaming World. Maybe you had the wrong version. There's a bunch of different versions. I think this one only works on the Japanese DVD version. Uh, this is Arcturus, the Curse and Loss of Divinity. The music is by Soundtemp, the same musicians as Ragnarok Online. is just eating up the EXP and the levels. I, I don't... It's getting out of hand. <laughs> well, it's always good to come and say hi. Enjoy your lurk, gaming world. Thank you for dropping by. I'll do my best. <laughs> well, you know I'm always smiling. I try to be I one am of the most the positive ring master. I try to be one of the most positive people on Twitch. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> uh. I believe I'm taking I out of the party. This is going to make things much harder. <laughs> that happened because she kept not letting anyone else get EXP. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that if this game actually got a ground up remake, the EXP distribution system would get the boot. It would also need a major reevaluation of how speed works. <laughs> Just a second.
I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. <laughs> it's art that I got today, so... No, and I think it's cute. I think it's good. So, I'm just, I'm just putting it on display while we're, while we're doing this. You know what they say, the more the merrier! <laughs> yes, be very afraid. The world will have even more positivity. Not more positivity. I guess that slightly. Let's just make it look. Uh, oh my God, JC, a bomb! There. An optimistic grump. That's already interesting wording, don't you think? Sometimes the EXP is quite good. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's not quite so good. It's kind of odd. But yes, why are you struggling? I don't. Everything seems fine. Yeah, kind of. Basically. The best I can explain it is that the EXP itself is not by slot machine, but the distribution methods are. Like, there's equal share, there's only one person gets EXP, and then there's the MVP gets the most EXP. Yeah. 
that there's been a pattern throughout the game of I rolling the individual EXP share and taking all of the EXP. So that's why she's a minimum of five levels above everyone else. It doesn't help that she's also typically the MVP. How's that? <laughs> I see. a while, but it's still going pretty fast, all things considered. Elevard is so slow though. I say as he gets the MVP bonus. Elevard is in the party because I hogs all the EXP when she's in the party, and right now she's by far the highest level anyway. Tenzi is probably worse than Elevard right now. He's our other option. enough, Selene has actually been a pretty good credit to the team so far. You wish there was a piggy bank emote? <laughs> When a single character is five levels above everyone else, it's very noticeable that something is wrong. <laughs>
The only problem is she's also the best character. So this also goes technically slower without her. Moves me to check the eleventh floor. Not those. Definitely not those. Maybe these. This one looks potentially killable. It's probably fine. healing. Not efficiently enough. Know. Probably. Stone suit. Ugh. It's buffing its defense. That'll give any EXP. Not impressive. What's in this room? A black dragon. I've got a bad feeling about this one. Starting to look like those things on the 10th floor really might be the best, best place to... Dear God. To grind. Sir. Sir, are you aware that you're outside the map? Sir! Sir, please return to the restricted area. Sir. I don't think that's... what gaslighting means. Because it wouldn't be misleading you. Or convincing you that what you believe is not real. Yeah. It would probably trigger you, though, in that situation. <laughs> 
probably go to the save point because everyone's poisoned. You know what's interesting? The fact that seemingly you can't encounter a 3D enemy on the map, so instead they use like wisp sprites and stuff to indicate 3D enemies. When did I get a cloning machine? <laughs> I wonder how much one of these is to fight and how much they're worth. Pretty weak. So these are easy enough to kill, but are they worth anything? I mean, it's just one enemy, but it's level 69. Lady, do you know how to do anything else? You're being rude, lady. Only one of them is moving around. Those things are actually pretty good EXP considering it's just one enemy. Hmm. They hit an awful lot though. Oh, there's two of them. Yeah, all 3D enemies in the game explode for some reason. Why that is, is anyone's guess. Oh great, I confused Sizz. Wendy's, please stop. Like they just keep attacking and attacking non stop, out of turn, even. So maybe they're not such a good bet, but only because they keep attacking so fast and they just erase you bit by bit. Yeah! <laughs> 
Boom. It's not a counter attack, it's just a you're too close to me attack. And it has extremely high priority. I didn't know she could do that. Dang. That's a lot of EXP. Yeah, and I'm not sure if it's worth it or not. These level 80 enemies are a good gauge of how strong I am. Considering they're what I have to match up to. Yeah, these things are still too tough too. Come on, that's rude. A super sucky this. Easy to face. Midian, an evil pagan goddess.
seems like my avatar's stuck. <laughs> Man, I wish I didn't have to grind. <laughs> Come this far without cheating. Once my level gets high enough, I should be able to grind on higher enemies. Things are actually decent candidate in terms of grinding, I'd say. It's just kind of awkward. <laughs> it seems so mob. And someday the captions will understand how to say the word mauve. I have to exaggerate it so much for it to understand that I'm saying mauve. <laughs> Move. enjoy the fact that there's an emote that's a heart holding a heart. And Maria is the one who's taking all of the EXP now, that's kind of weird.
But what will you do when your technology... Welcome. Man, Sis keeps getting hit really hard. Celine died. Okay. Come on! Come on now, even Fry doesn't really respond to that name. Even Fry seems to love being called Fry. Does this thing still take forever to kill? Yeah, Noah, name of Apocalyptic Hour. Yeah, Fry's a street name. Okay, this thing still takes forever to kill. takes forever. more ultimate weapons to try and get? No. Unfortunately, no. We just have to catch up on a level deficit. That's like all we can do at this point. Those things are really not worth it.
The XP is lousy and they take forever to kill. Yeah, well, Tenzi is the lowest level. He's level 50. He's way below the, less, the rest right now. Fighting these things definitely seems like good bang for the buck. That was quick. Ah, oh, Maria, what are you gonna do with all that EXP? I'm sorry that I had to subject you guys to grinding again. One way or another though, this game is ending tonight. Gotta get to the point that I can actually kill those level 80 enemies. And that should be the point where I'm capable of taking on the boss. Theoretically, of course. This enemy is level 69, so I should be able to get as high as level 70 by killing it. Hard to tell if it's really worth it. I have a feeling like those robed enemies on the lower floor might still be more efficient. I'm not sure. Honestly, let's let's go fight them again.
Yeah, well... Getting back to the boss is a bunch of cutscenes and running through the last dungeon. Because this is the second to last dungeon. The enemies in the last dungeon are just too powerful. It's an awkward situation. I actually had to reload an older save in order to get back here and so be able to level on these things. The game just kind of threw an EXP cliff out of nowhere. These things happen. Sometimes games be like that. Especially retro games. Maria, what the heck are you doing? She's still hogging all the EXP. Am I gonna have to take Maria out of the party now? that. Like it shouldn't in theory be like that, but it's possible that it is. But I don't feel like I has always been in the first slot when she's been hogging EXP. So, hmm. At the same time, it's true that Maria started hogging and I wasn't hogging anymore. Live dub of Sonic Adventure 2? No, I haven't. However, I have seen the meme video where Sonic and Shadow are arguing over the pronunciation of the file format GIF. <laughs> Graphics interchange for <laughs> that. Yeah, that sounds about right. Somehow that just sounds about right.
Like, you say that and I'm just like, oh, of course he does. Makes sense. I guess Vox is doing uh, MMX MMM again, huh? I mean, it is a fun thing after all. Yes, it's her time of the month. I'm pretty sure I've heard her put it that way before. <laughs> enemies have gotten less efficient. I have to go back up there. result is about the same, but it didn't take very long that time. You know what, though? I want to check something just for fun. Just for funsies. This is my old save game. Apparently everyone is not correctly leveled. Interesting. How did that happen? How did they end up at this this level? I don't the save the save file said 98 for all of them, which doesn't sound right either, but This is interesting. <laughs> this is very interesting. Yeah, this is my save file from way back in the day. It's clear that I was not very good at playing the game comparatively, but what in the world happened to these levels? That's impossible. <laughs> interesting, interesting. What the- 
Um. <laughs> that was also interesting. the EXP will just be exponentially higher than other times. I don't... It's not clear as to why. It'd be impossible is what I do for a living. I suppose so. Nowadays I just increasingly veer toward being a streamer instead. I've done so much programming, and it feels like the interesting projects have kind of run short. Don't get me wrong, I've, st I've still got work to do at the moment. It's just I miss the days when I was working on trails in the sky, you know? Those were the days. Me and Hatsu. Yeah, see... The thing is... I feel like my work made it possible for... Japanese games to be released on PC reasonably again. But on the downside, it also means that Japanese people are porting their own games now. Because they see the value in it, so they don't need somebody else doing the porting as much anymore. On the downside, they usually don't do as good of a job. It's easy to say that something could be better if you know for a fact that you could make it better, you know? That's definitely a thing that happened. If you know, my version of the game definitely has a lot over the Japanese PC version. I always set out to make the best version of the game I can, whatever that may mean.
Evo looks a lot different from the X Seed version. Most of it not for the better, in my opinion, but your mileage may vary. I also don't like the gameplay changes that they made for Evo. I think that the voice acting is a great feature and I wish that it was possible to license something like that, but... Yeah, the music feels... The music isn't bad, but it's not good in the game. It's like an arrange album, so it's enjoyable to listen to in some contexts, but it simply doesn't suit the game. Hello, Renee. That's just art that Dragon Cap Man drew. Honestly, some of his best work. Is this thing still tough? Yeah, this thing is still tough. Did you do something else today? Like for Vox or something? for winter. Wonderful. Yeah, he's Dragon Cat Man's on fire today. So let says die. I'm sorry, sis. I failed you. <laughs> A 
What happens if you draw Dragon Cap Man? Something like the universe uh, getting inverted, I think. Whatever the reason, it seems to work. I think it's been a hydration reminder. Uh, yes, yes it was. You know these things are dropping a lot of throwing items. A suspiciously large amount of throwing items. I think it's hard to tell. If you think it's hard to tell with the way Sis looks right now, you should see how Sis looked earlier <laughs> in the game. <laughs> I intentionally loaded it to show that's all. should be able to get out of this place soon.
A tattooed ink. <laughs> Another chakra. Like seriously, they just dropped so many chakras. It really does start to feel like it's trying to tell me something. Like I'm legit just supposed to throw stuff at Bjorn. I've been able to gain some levels, yes. I'm still way below the level of the enemies in Eden. Like, my highest level is 68, but most of them are closer to 65. The enemies in Eden are around 80. I'll be back in a sec. I need a soda or something. Gear being overleveled? Well, sort of. In some cases, I didn't equip gear that might be good because it just reduced speed too much. Funny how I've been using fire pillar so much when just leveling like this. But at this point, I admit, what am I going to use the catalysts on if not fire pillars while leveling, right? With each level gained, the situation is improving. It's clear that we'll be able to finish this even if it might not be very quickly. Although it does put us in a position where Grielsen will probably have to catch the VOD. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Oh, 
Oh, there's lots of shadies. In the streets of Eden? I think they're probably high level too. It might be like a look. We're getting to the point where we can reasonably kill some of these. Just not like full on level 80 enemies. I'll take a look since, you know, I have a save in Eden already. These are level 80 and 75. Seventy-five, seventy, seventy-seven. Yeah, it looks like this runs the full gamut up from seventy to eighty, as far as enemies are concerned. It looks kind of tough, to be honest. I feel like we'll be able to handle it soon enough, though. Like, we're getting there. What does the speedrun of this game look like? That is a very good question. I doubt anybody has ever been so bold. I get the feeling that there are strategies, though. Like, I'm pretty sure that there is a wrong warp bug. but I don't know the details of it. That said, there is a buttload of content that you could skip in each of the chapters, even if you were doing things completely glitchless. Because there's a bunch of side quests and such that you don't actually need to do, etc. If just one NPC were still alive, it would have to be Nelovard, right? Nelovard and Sue. is so random, I don't get it. Fire pillar's gone. I think that extremely powerful spells would be extremely important in a speedrun, though. Like, 
you would want to send you would definitely want to uh, create fire pillar and you probably wouldn't need to create any other spells aside from maybe carry on or Helion, rather. It's like Fire Pillar is a synthesized magic, and it's probably by far the most useful magic in the entire game. Because it's just way overpowered. Fire Pillar got me through a lot of situations that I probably shouldn't have been able to get through. Well, see, there's Cure, Curar, and Curion, which are single target heals, and there's Heal, Healar, and Helion, which are multi target heals. Now, if you ask me why they chose that naming scheme, I don't know. And yeah, it would be insane if there was, because, like, this game is so unknown, nobody plays this game. It's such a great game with a lot of jank. But nobody plays it. The story is so good, the characters are fantastic. It explores themes that games even today don't dare to. Come on! Well, if you want a weird spell name, though, how about this? You have a point. Does that pour gasoline out of a canteen or something? Causes is that burning sensation. For a moment, that enemy had one HP. The level distribution has gotten interesting. But I think we're definitely getting to the point where we will be able to go back to Eden soon. It's like it's starting to feel significantly easier. Look at that, how fast they went down. Levels don't need to be balanced, they just need to be higher. They go on one of the 80 groups, see how it feels, oh boy.
mean half naked? It's like 80% naked. <laughs> okay, I still isn't doing much damage to these. They might be physical resistant. Water doesn't work well either. Yeah, fighting these things still seems miserable. I feel like you have to be within at least 10 levels of an enemy for fighting it to not feel completely miserable. And we're not quite there yet. I mean, they're beatable, just at what cost, right? That wasn't nearly worth it. I want my catalysts back. Was it beatable though? Yes. Which half? To me, it seems like a random distribution of fifty percent of thong. 
I'm not sure, Sasha. I ended up having to grind again. Because the, the enemies suddenly went from level 60 to level 80. <laughs> How are you doing, Sasha? How's, how's your day been? say it's closer to 80% naked. Running for president, and I have 90% of the giant naked women vote. <laughs> well, it's not a hard vote to gain in this political climate, you understand. You just have to be a woman who is at least part giant. And at least part naked, and you know, I don't wear shoes. Oh no. No, Roto, you're just short. Don't you mean that Roto is a slime girl? I am extremely close to the end of the game. This is the penultimate dungeon. I came back here because it was too hard to grind in the last dungeon. Basically, I ran into the boss. Uh, well, not the boss, but um, one of the two mid bosses in the last dungeon. And I could only do like one damage per hit. So that was my cue that I was way too under leveled for that situation. And part of why I say it wasn't a difficulty curve, it was a difficulty cliff. The enemies suddenly went from level 60 to level 80. <laughs> 
I love this game so much. It is one of my absolute favorites. But it is a very flawed game at times. <laughs> Not quite on that level. Yeah, Mire, that is true. We're just about at a point where we can consider going back to Eden. Two of our characters are a nice level now. Yeah, it's just like Digital Devil Saga, Avatar Tuner. You get a high enough level, then you eat the enemy. That's how it works, right? reason DDS is just fantastic. This is sucking up all the EXP now. I guess I gotta put someone else in front. It does seem like most of the time when the individual EXP share pops up, it ends up going to the first party leader. Not always, but most of the time. <laughs> Tenzi in front? I'm afraid not. We don't have time to level Tenzi and LOR. You know, I'm guessing that the red highlight and damage flash on these enemies is yellow because they actually just used a simple color shift to achieve the palette color of this sprite instead of actually making a color palette altered version of the sprite. Like, it's just got a shader on it or something. Not actually a shader because this predates shaders, but... If you've never played any of the other SMT games, where would it be recommended you start if you want to play ones other than five? Um, there's no wrong place exactly, but in terms of friendliness, you probably would prefer either the modern Persona games, like Persona 5 would probably be good, or um, play DDS, honestly, because it actually is one of the friendlier ones. 
even though at top tier, like, trying to kill secret boss level, it gets insanely difficult. Also, personally, I have a really, really soft spot for Soul Hackers. That game is great. The original Soul Hackers. Obviously. SMT5 is, seems to have a reputation for being the easiest of the SMT games in that way. While not being on level with like Persona in terms of accessibility, mind you. Yeah, it's just a shame that Soul Hackers coming to 3DS meant that the fan translation never came out. Not that there's anything wrong with the 3DS version. It is fine. It's just having the console versions too would be nice, right? I ran from the battle before Celine got removed. It's kind of funny. Yeah, the, the streaming rules about Atlas games are wild and outdated. A lot of Japanese companies used to feel that way. Most of them have wisened up. But Atlas clearly has not. Unfortunately. And remember that when a new port of a Persona game or something comes out, they basically go, this game has been out before, but there's a bunch of people playing it for the first time, so don't show anything after the first chapter. And it's like, uh... Like, retroactively. And of course, you know, all the game consoles with their blocked scenes for recording. How's this? Once everyone in the main party is level 70, we will go to Eden. HDCP was a mistake. Honestly, I agree. But it was the only thing that could satisfy the movie industry, which is absurd about these things. A lot of people haven't just understood that uh, piracy is inevitable and not necessarily bad for your product, unless you've made a bad product. Oh, is Vox singing? I can't listen to Vox singing. I wonder if she even knows that half the time when I'm streaming I have her stream up on my laptop. Exactly, Sasha. 
I've actually talked about this on a podcast before. Like, I used to pirate everything, and even then, I would feel like... I would feel like, yeah, I'm sticking to the man by pirating stuff, and like... The moment I actually had money, and the ability to buy things, I, uh... <laughs> I immediately realized I was just making excuses because I really didn't care at all about pirating. I just wanted to play the game. If you let me buy something, I'll buy it. If I can't buy it, you know what I'm gonna do. That's... People start buying things when they have money to buy things and the thing is available to buy. Like, Sasha, you're 100% correct. And Brian, that's also true. The way people interact with your work is not up to you, ultimately. Yeah, if you end up on one of the blacklists for being one of the people who is going to art sites, certain art sites, and saying, hey, remove this and such, uh, you know, they post those lists publicly, so it's even worse for you to be one of those people when it comes to art Patreon. Because then you'll be on the prohibited content list, and you will get negative exposure, not just no exposure. But even if not, like, being on those kinds of sites and everything, being having your work pirated as an artist means that people are going to see your art more, possibly. And if they do, they might look up your other stuff. There is a reason that those people are more successful. Simply having your work known at all is super important. Also, I think that most Patreons of the sort eventually release their work to the public and just, you know, have timed exclusive stuff for the Patreon. Or they will release some of their oldest stuff eventually for free and call it a demo, like uh, the Gigaboots podcast stuff. And I think that that is also good. Like, you want something that shows off the kind of quality that you are actually giving. But I think that people who are running Patreon should take note that they should eventually release a fair bit of the work that they are putting on Patreon for free, so people know what is actually meaningful about the Patreon. Yeah, permanent exclusives suck, but you know, some, some, some Patreons do it. You know the one that really kills me? Is Patreons for apps. And the Patreon working like a subscription to the app, and you can't use it again if you if you lose your Patreon subscription. Yeah, Sasha, I think that's probably pretty good. I don't really know what the ideal time window would be, and it probably varies. But I think that it's the right approach. If people enjoy your work that much, they're want they're going to want to be on the cutting edge of getting it immediately. Like that, that that just seems right.
Uh, that's difficult, Brian. If you're not a big creator, you can't really offer something like that, because Patreon is an important source of income for these people. I figure that if I ever do go all in on the streaming business, unlikely as it may seem right now, I will eventually have to make a Patreon. And if I do, I'm going to have to figure out what will make that appealing. But, you know, if, if, if something like that becomes one of my main sources of income, I'm really going to have to... Exclusivity will have to be a thing. Like, that's just... Inevitable. <laughs> I like how badly the captions understand me as the stream goes along. Like, I start mumbling and I start saying things in real close proximity to each other. <laughs> you might be right, Sasha. You might be right. It's something I probably should think about, but... At the moment, July is really packed uh, with stuff. Um... And... I'll probably try to look into it in August. Not that much, but sometimes. And... Something a lot of streamers offer is some sort of credit, like some sort of accreditation. Like being in the credits of the streams, for example. I've been surprised by how much I can make from Twitch, but it's still not living wages on its own. Maybe if I were extremely serious, it could get there, but... You know, I'm primarily a developer at the moment. I really love streaming, though. I would totally do it for a career if I ever thought it looked viable for me to do so. I just think that is a pretty far ways off from me right now. But maybe someday it won't be. Much appreciated, Sasha. Seriously. You're a good friend. And yeah, Twitch takes half. And despite some misunderstandings, Twitch taking half has always been the norm. Well, there is the alternative, but it's YouTube. And not only is YouTube a less pleasant feeling place for streams, it's just kind of harsh to even get into that uh, ecosystem compared to Twitch. It's a lot easier to become a Twitch affiliate than it is to start getting money from YouTube. And yeah, YouTube streaming is a thing. Yeah, Brian, see, that's the thing. Like, there are other platforms, but you're not going to get enough exposure on there for it to be worth it. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just so much easier to become a Twitch affiliate versus uh, becoming anything on YouTube. What the? Ugh. Okay. And yeah, if they remove the exclusivity, I will probably multi-stream. Even though I see that there are downsides to multi-streaming, especially in the regards of people feeling like, who are you talking to? But that's what I would personally probably do if the exclusivity clauses were removed. In general, though, my goals are to reach partner eventually. And I feel like I have decent odds of reaching partner, possibly this year. If I'm really, really invested in it, I feel I can do it this year, if not next year. I think it's possible. It's a ways off, but I think it's possible. Um. And I'd like to, if possible, join a VTuber group that's cool and has friends of mine. Like, for example, well, you, you guys know. You guys know. I only have one group of VTubers in my life. And then a bunch of independent ones. But, you know, like, I'd, I'd like to be a part of something like that. Haven't I always been blushing? Like, literally always? Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, I think Hitbox merged with uh, Justin.tv and then I think... Uh, that eventually got absorbed by Twitch. I mean, yes and no. It got absorbed, but it wasn't the same entity. There were a lot of people who actually got screwed over by that because um, they were partnered on that service. And then the benefits didn't carry over to Twitch at all. Saying they're one and the same is a little misleading. You know, that really doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> On a corporate level, Twitch seems like they are a little inconsistent. It's interesting because, you know, like, it's easy to understand why that would be.
Yep, they do. My mistake, I guess, Hitbox became absorbed by a different company and became Smashcast. Which, if you've never heard of Smashcast, then you understand already what happened from there. Still, like a bunch of these, a bunch of these services did end up being just absorbed by Twitch ultimately. If there's one thing I never profess to, it's having a good memory. When it comes to my memory, I have aphantasia, and that seems to affect the ability to remember things, unfortunately. Let alone something that far back, and days that it didn't matter to me at the time, like Back, yeah, I, yeah, I said that. Um, back in the day, I was still using live uh, live stream, you know, Mogulus, as it was originally known, until it stopped being public, like until it became a purely paid service. And so as a result, I was a streaming hipster for quite a while. Oh, quite a long time. That's when I started hanging out with Dan Video Games and a bunch of other people. Even though I had known them already. Like, Dan was around pretty regularly. He would watch Game Center CX with us. RPG was around a lot. I just miss Chernyan. I don't know how to actually pronounce his name, but there was this uh, Chinese person, Chernyan, and um, I miss him. He was one of my regulars in those days, along with RPG. Like, they were around about as often. And that's somebody I would like to see again. Yeah, see, that's the thing. OBS and XSplit both had really high requirements compared to Procaster. Procaster was an amazing piece of technology. It was a piece of crap, but you could run it on anything and capture individual programs and stuff. It was really good in that regard. Like, for low-spec systems, Procaster was incredible, seriously.
Hello next time. How's it going? <laughs> Just don't say which one do I shoot. <laughs> Exactly, Roto. It was an amazing piece of crap. It's like... Imagine you're cooking a meal, right? And you put a really terrible ingredient in it, like a fish bone or something. And it turns out to be the best meal you ever made. That's what Procaster was like. It was... It, sh it had no right to be any good but it was the easiest to use app by far and was extremely good at what it did on the very, very specific level that it did it. You couldn't make a layout or anything, but it captured games like crazy with low spec requirements. Hi, Ridings, how are you doing? Okay, we just need to get Maria to level 70, and we will be on our way. Hello, Evil Park. That move is always so satisfying, it's so powerful. I still love how they explode whenever they are killed. I suspect that they just couldn't come up with a satisfying death animation for 3D models, they couldn't fade them out properly or something, so they just made them explode. And like, I don't even think it was the wrong choice. <laughs> Maria is getting close to level 70. Kaboom! Good man. What a rotten way to die. <laughs> he was a good man. What a rotten explosion sounds. See, the funny thing is, Arcturus may be jank, but the story and characters really are incredible. They are legit amazing. And this game seriously does a ton of stuff that no other game would dare to do, back then, especially. But even nowadays, like, for the most part.
Even Eloard, because he's multi-layered, multi-faceted. Also, like, it's the closest thing you'll get to actually playing Xenogears without playing Xenogears, so there's that. Store first. They have similar vibes in many ways, and the insane religious undertones and overtones. Plus, the big blobs of exposition. Except that Xenogears does it worse. Oh, did I not touch the terminal yet? I must not have touched the terminal yet. I would be reading this out loud, except I already did earlier. I think Mire is okay with it if there's like one or two jump scares, but not if it's the main focus of the game. And let's face it, a lot of so-called horror stuff relies heavily on low-hanging fruit like that instead of actual environmental and psychological horror. Which is also true for movies, like, some of them get it right, some of them really invest in the proper elements of horror, but a lot of them are just like, hey, jump scares will scare people. And it's like, yes, but... And there's only so much skipping I can do because these, like, pop-up texts I can't skip.
Unfortunately, Brian, I tried to pull out of the cloud and immediately got zapped by lightning. And then, from that moment on, all I could hear was, Missile, 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 missile. It does need one. I've mentioned it before, but the Korean demo, which is basically like an early alpha version in many ways, actually had a turbo mode during cutscenes. Like you could you could fast forward the cutscenes, but they removed that from the final game, likely because it's just hard to actually implement something like that without breaking something in some scene. Like it's difficult to get right. Yes, this is a Korean game. You know, there seems to be no particular explanation of why they landed in Eden, specifically. Just some food for thought. Jacques de Molay. Look at all these chakrams! This is so dumb. This is the stupidest strategy ever. It's a dumb strategy, it's stupid, I hate it, it's probably going to work. Maybe some food has weight. I am with my 121 melons that don't weigh anything. Whew. Let's hope that these levels were enough.
That sounds likely, Brian. That sounds likely. I'm kind of depressed how likely that sounds. Oh, hey, an angel. Level 83. Being apostles, they sure aren't that unbeatable. I don't think I should fight it, but it seems like I could easily beat it. Oh, I can't escape. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Ha! Ha! The in biblical apocalypse. It would miss quite a bit of the game. Including the entire first chapter, which is several hours long, in which it is just plain a happy adventure RPG. You hope it drops a Delant? <laughs> Good point. I haven't even thought about that. Like, in the lore, that would entirely make sense. I love that description. Eloquent. So yeah, we don't have a deicider, but we're just kind of casually killing an apostle. It doesn't even seem that hard, actually. Slowing it down probably helped, though. I mean, its attacks are actually pretty devastating when they hit. Oh no, it heals. I confused it. Oh great, it's healing again. I think I stopped it from healing. The religion is called Greetism. Yes, that's correct, Brian. <laughs> it's actually a version of Zoroastrism. Not a real version, though. Like, they made up the name. That's when you make all the Walmart door greeters a religion. Yeah, I am I am taking a walk on the dish side. Day aside. Hey. <laughs> 
Hey, just like everything else, it just generically explodes. I love it. I love that the Apostle, the big deal enemy... What a shame. ...just explodes, like, like anything else. It didn't even drop anything. Not much experience, no, but... Yeah, a repair kit, true. Yikes, Brian, that got dark, huh? Oh no, I ran into it again. Wait a second, the Apostle came back to life? Okay. <laughs> That's a rip-off the game said they're supposed to drop the launch earlier. You're not wrong. He's a normal enemy that you absolutely cannot run from. Maybe it's only a shadow of itself now, but our society used to be the greatest civilization that existed. At that time, we believed in the religion named Science. We believed we could find a way to live eternally. However, that was too much and God became furious with us. It was a truly great divine anger. Our flourishing continents were for the most part destroyed. Many of our people were mercilessly slaughtered. We could do nothing but shiver watching the world fall apart around us. Fear, insecurity, despair. Madness spread out before our eyes, eating into our very hearts. The people devoured by anger started killing one another. I can tell. What's happening today is like what happened 1800 years ago. You're still alive, right? The most dreadful things will only truly start now. You must not repeat the mistakes we once did. You still have time. Please hurry. 1800 years ago, demons started appearing on the surface to help us. The fight between man and god so became a fight between god and demons. Both the demons and god had suffered heavily, heavy wounds and disappeared shortly after. Despite all this, someone seems to have tried to revive god. By the way, I would like to be very clear. You know all that virtual world stuff, right? We've been in the real world all along. The virtual world was always something else. Like, the virtual world long since got all of the disruption. All that stuff happened in the past. Anyway. As the Chosen Ones embarked into the Ark and left, we were left to despair. All the, ab all the Abandoned Ones could expect was death. Oh, no, our party is not dead. Indeed, God was so powerful. Nevertheless, we could not accept death obediently. To survive, we had some options. One of them was pleading to the demons for help. And that's why we're here today, forever unable to be at peace. I do not understand the nature of God. God destroyed humanity for the sins it committed, but God made us capable of becoming sinners in the first place. Wow, that's religious philosophy 101 right there. If sins mean destruction, then why let us be able to do them? Were we humans only made so that we could be destroyed? I don't understand. I can't understand at all. If at least I could finally die and forget everything. Oof. Are they echoes? What I think happened is that they weren't allowed to completely die. They never got to pass on to the other side, so to speak. So their spirits are just lingering. And this is because they made deals with demons. That's the implication the story gives about it, at least.
Well, that's what gets me. This is not the virtual world because Noah exists inside of it. You know, the research institute and everything, that was all in this world. It was what they called the old world. But at the same time, you have the backstory of Lee hyun -ki having his brain put into the Elizabeth engine. And then later he becomes Elizabeth when the engine gets a mind of its own. Like, that virtual world was the Elizabeth engine, basically. It's complicated. I'll be back, just a sec. Okay, I'm back. Basically, Lee hyun -ki combined with the virtual world becoming part of it. Not becoming part of the world itself, per se, but, you know, just another person inside of it. And then... Eventually... The virtual world became a person, essentially. The, the machine that the supercomputer that the virtual world was made up of. And he became the main part of that. It's... There's some stuff about that that's a little fuzzy. It's understandable, but a little fuzzy. The machine basically made a Digimon. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't know. Legit. Legit don't know. Hey, an elixir. Which is not actually a useful item at all in this game. Cool. So I can fight most of these things if I really want to, but I'm not sure I really want to. Something was loud? I think I heard something outside. Yeah, see... That's slightly... Okay, so that's what that sound was. I have my noise cancelling on. I guess it did its job. Um... Okay, so... Yeah, there is that implication there, Red Blue Fire. The thing is, they never come out and say that. They present Ahura Mazda and such as real. But the thing is, it was already pointed out in the story that the people in the virtual society made their own virtual society. And the implication you have to be led to, if you think about that, is if that world could be virtual and was made by a world that was virtual, then maybe the current world is a virtual world. Because it's possible for somebody in a virtual world to make a virtual world. Like, it all naturally follows, right? So the implication is there. But it's hard to tell if it's an intended takeaway or not. It's probably intentionally left vague as to whether this world is real or not. But it at least is not the virtual world that we know about in the story. 
My eyes are gonna go crossed. If you can travel between the two, what's the difference? True, true. Ha! Rigging what animation to my character? <laughs> Going cross-eyed. <laughs> that's that's interesting and possible. Anyone think I should just throw things at this guy? I think I should just throw things at this guy. Throw all the chakrams. I'm throwing all the weak stuff, though. Yeah, it's pretty easy to tell that Trails took a lot of inspiration from this game, even if story-wise it couldn't be further from the truth for the most part. Thank you for the follow, Sahasrala23. Man, I am way too used to saying Sahasrala. <laughs> Sahasrala. The captions even caught it the first time I said it. Like they 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 know, they know the words. They know that name apparently. Sahasrala is the one near the Eastern Palace. <laughs> Welcome Sahasrala 23. I just managed to throw two of an item I had one of because they were two cute actions at the same time. That's funny. was that apparently was on the house got a freebie <laughs> huh. I can't believe I'm doing this this is so dumb This is unbelievably dumb. That I'm just throwing everything at them. And the, the worst part is that it's working.
I have a divine interpretation of God himself! Wait, why are you throwing random items at me? Are you mocking me? <laughs> this was the Pope, the Cardinal, Bjorn Longstrom, the it was rather large, wore red, had a Pope hat. He was the one who kept messing with Sis' body. Sis. Don't scare us like that, Sis. He's the kind of character who seems like he was probably meant to be more important. But, you know, there were definitely some cuts made to the game over time. It's clear that there were. <laughs> there is something very funny about this, isn't there? Eloward with his three damage. Thank you for your contribution. Yeah. Welcome back, Schnitzel. I hope you had a good nap, even if it was accidental. knew that would happen. I'm out of Kronheim.
I'm pretty sure Vadzerald always does 10 damage with all of its hits, no matter what the enemy is. Which means that if you're extremely patient and extremely good at surviving, you can win any fight with Vadzerald. Yeah, it looks like we're not using Fire Pillar anymore. That's what I was afraid of when I was leveling and was using Fire Pillar to make it go by faster. Like, I was wondering why I couldn't use those skills, and of course it was because I'm out of Kronheim. I don't think so. I don't remember one. That doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't, though. Because some of these spirits, one of them could be a shop. It's plausible. You know what? I don't need the guide open anymore. It won't tell me anything informative past this point, honestly. Rogers is not a shop, only storage. Unless I missed something, because it normally is not a shop. Ah, is my faith not enough yet? Ah, I'll leave the fight to you. And stay down. He ran away. He's as obstinate as he is ugly. We won! We won! After all that hard work, we beat him. Looking around the subway station to make sure I didn't miss anything before I head on to the next place. There's four stations and there's four city maps. <laughs> Look at all this junk. Anybody see their old computer in there? Popcorn, huh? <laughs> well, it's better than nothing. What on the... It's like a furry from some different video game. Uh-oh. I don't want to fight the Apostle. Wow, I do not do much damage to him. Uh-oh. Hey. hey, fries. Is that the Chrysler building? <laughs> Back to before our world was destroyed. The wealth our civilization reached was without limit. However, we humans were still mortals, from dust to dust. Even with our technological prowess, for a long time we could not defy the great rule of nature. However, one day our intelligence finally crushed that law. We did find a way to become immortal. It was like sorcery. For one person to gain perpetual youth and longevity, a thousand lives were needed. 
That's why we started calling people who went through the ritual Magi. Telling us the backstory that we already know. But that's okay. Where I came from, or is this where I'm going? I guess one could argue that it's both. If it is where I'm going, the Christie building. Kenzie, what are you doing in the party? Where the final boss is in some hole in Hell's Kitchen. Does the crater count? What in the heck? Stop that! I don't know what that was gonna be, but stop it! Thanks for the hydration reminder. Auto mod, seriously, this is not the 50s or the 1500s even. What the heck? <laughs> the auto mod caught the words you cretin as bullying. Is anybody in the world offended by somebody saying you cretin? That's that's amazing. Right? It wasn't even pelvic thrust that it caught, it was you cretin! <laughs> That's hilarious! I love it. I hate it. I love it. Die, monster! You crouton! That's possible, Niri. <laughs> possible. You croissant. What do you guys think of the fact that the captions actually recognized that word when I said it like that?
I got a lemon! Life just gave me a lemon, what the heck? make life take the lemon back. I mean, I'd like to. Have you seen how little these things heal? Lemon, restore 8 HP. 8 HP. Did I go backwards? I went backwards. Yeah, this is definitely where I was before. Got some quints. Lemon, grenade. I mean, if you're hungry, you're hungry, and you're not you when you're hungry. Katie, aren't you streaming right now? I mean, I'm not complaining per se. I always have like boxes streep or something up, but <laughs> for once I get to be the one that goes, hey, you're streaming right now. Honestly, I think a lot of streamers do it, as long as they have the capacity to do it, which a lot don't. You just have to be careful, like, you don't want... Who am I kidding? You have two systems. even know anymore because I've rotated the camera too much. I probably went backward. Yeah. Man, couldn't they get anyone else to guard the tunnels? Nothing but this guy and his 17 brothers.
Man, I'm lost. Maybe I should have left the guide open so I could look for a way to go. another boss fight. It is God's will! You shall die here! Don't you dare use God's name to justify your deeds, you pig! You bastards! I judge you guilty of going against God's will. Prepare yourself. Prepare your bottom. Oh, so you have more health now. Okay. Lindsay, why do you have increased gravity? Why are you still in my party? I forgot to remove you. die eventually? I don't know. I don't think so. Did they? That's nice. Only the trains were running, huh? Tenzi died. Not sure what of, but he died. Unfortunately, this time I don't have a million things to throw at Bjorn. So I just kind of got to beat him up conventionally. I'm really hyped for it too. Kind of goes without saying, I guess. My life for a lot of the next few days is going to be live alive. It's so tempting to use Vazerald, but if I used Vazerald, it would just slow things down. Oh, good job, I. Good job.
And would fire shower be any good here? Um, honestly, I doubt that it will remain a Switch exclusive, but it's definitely starting out that way. Yeah, it'll probably take a couple of years considering Nintendo's involvement. But it will definitely get a port eventually, I'm sure. Well, the thing is, you know... Nintendo at least partially funded for Live Alive, which was also the case from Octopath, from my understanding. And Octopath still got ported eventually. Well, Retro, here's the interesting thing. That was also the case in the original game. The characters were all design- the, the characters for each chapter had different designers and artists, as I recall it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that, um... I'm pretty sure that Basara was designed by, uh... The guy who designed G Gundam characters. So his resemblance to Domon Kashu was not really a coincidence. And now he has the same voice actor. Which basically insists that it's not a coincidence. Like, I named him Dolman in my playthrough at least once. And yeah, I just... yeah. I'm gonna miss the ability to name the characters though, since I assume they removed that. Even with the voice acting, huh? leaped out, that would be awful. Silenced is fine, which is a method that was invented by, like, Tells of Fantasia on PS1. As well as the Landgrister games back then. Like, in both of those, if you rename the, the main character, you just get silenced whenever the name is spoken. And I think that's fine. Because, you know, if the name is left default, then you'll hear the name. But it doesn't make a weird noise or a bleep or anything like that. Thank you for the hydration reminder. about the Secret of Mana remake soundtrack is that it was legitimately made by like 10 different composers.
problem with the Saken 3 remake is that it's single player. And some people primarily experience the Mana series in multiplayer. It's like when it's like when they made single player Tales of games. They can be fantastic and it still won't matter to the subset of people who only play those games with other people as an experience. This is really taking a while. This may be a bad sign in terms of beating the last boss. I guess we'll see. We'll at least be able to grind an Eden if we absolutely have to. Yeah, most of the Tales of games allow you to play as the full party at once, although some require a multi-tap, obviously. Even the very first one that had multiplayer, Destiny, allows you to play as all four players, all four characters, as long as you have enough control rings for everyone. And is the stream okay? OBS keeps uh, going red on me. It's really red. get it. There doesn't seem to be any reason it should be doing that. Yeah, it's dropping frames. I just can't see why because it was fine for the most part until now. And the, the uh, actual bitrate still looks fine. I guess there may just be too much going on too fast. But wasn't that the case earlier without issues? At this point, we're just kind of tediously fighting this boss. Also, if it were a matter of too much going on, then I should have been able to just sit here like this and see it recover. It did recover. Okay, hmm. Weird. Can't believe it's struggling with this in particular. Of all things. It's a very odd situation for OBS to be struggling with, is all. 
Like, it doesn't seem like it should be struggling with it, but clearly it is. I should bring up the stats. Okay. Pretty much all of it is dropped network frames. Yeah, it depends. I had a really bad time with my connection for a while. A few months ago. Well, a couple months ago. Another mention? Discord? Oh. Man, why do I even have all these items? Most of it isn't even any good. That's... <laughs> Healing items in this game are so stupid. an hour in. I don't think they were ever useful. It is the same boss. He ran away after last time. And then he came back with much more health. 
and absolutely nothing else to make him more challenging. You have a point, Red Blue Fire. You have a point. God, have you abandoned me? No, I don't want to die. Not like this. I'm gonna restart the game just to be safe. I doubt it'll make a difference. But it also gives me a, ch a moment to make sure that absolutely nothing else on my side. No, nothing. Die, monster! You don't belong in this world!
Thank you for the hydration reminder. I'm interested in this. <laughs> okay, let me get the game back up. Unfortunately, the connection does not seem to be recovering, though. But I guess it's still watchable, considering everything. It's just... I'm frustrated by the fact that this is a problem at all. There's no reason it should be happening. But sometimes things be like that. The game didn't crash, I restarted it on purpose. You time travelers fate defiers. Your fight draws near. I shall give you one chance. Yeah, this is the last boss fight right here. Bathory. Evil beings trying to prevent God's return? You shall die and be forgotten. What's good? What's evil? What are you basing your definition on? Oh, I should remove... I should remove the, uh... Do you think your nonsense will absolve your sins? Humans are the children of evil. They once summoned the devil. It is what you do that is evil. Humans aren't as bad as you think. Your sentimental arguments won't work on me. Do you know what's being characterized by its hatred rather than its love? It's mankind. We can't let you decide by yourself what is good and what isn't. It's not my own path, it's God's path. What do you mean, God? Ain't that the devil? Evil God? Let me reuse your very own argument. On what do you decide that God is e good or evil? Humans are weak beings. They cannot be divided between good or evil. But you know, I can't call God something that's trying to massacre us all. In the end, humans spend all their pitiful lives struggling. They really are born of evil, and they should disappear. Okay, so this is not the last boss yet. Foolish humans, are you arrogant enough to defy God's authority again? I don't know, this looks bad. I might end up having to grind more. I really wish I had Kronheim right now. Like, a lot of them.
What the? That actually worked on her? What in the heck? I just expected to do damage, not petrify her. And I don't know. does simplify matters, yes. Just very unexpectedly. This is actually going a lot better than I thought it would. Okay, I shouldn't have said anything. can see leaving any of those alive is a big problem. The 100 melon slap on God. I wish I could throw them. That would for sure get stuff done. Somebody get erased from existence again? Here we go again. Serious? Are you serious? What the?
Okay. How is it that Tenzi is fine? Also, why does Celine have health? She's dead. Okay, you know what? She needs to be slowed down a lot, is what she needs. So since she is not immune to this... Okay, so hitting her while she's like that immediately pulls her out of it. Almost. Uh-oh. Both of them? Okay. I really wish there were better healing items. I did that to myself. Like a dummy. <laughs> not petrified, but she's petrified. <laughs> Meanwhile, Sis died. Just insta-killed.
No, get back. Okay, that restored her this time. Thankfully. Increasing everyone's gravity. Trying to build up speed here, basically. You know. I could probably try it. works, but still interesting. Like, if I could just deprive her of all of her turns, that would obviously be enough. And if I can't win this fight, though, then it wouldn't bode well for the next fight. But I'm pretty sure I can win it, I just have to keep her occupied. Because if she can't do anything, then she can't really win. It's weird how Tenzi takes one damage. Tenzi seems basically immune here, it's weird. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, kind of. How's it calling me? I mean, I feel like you've been here, but... Ah, yeah. uh, you know, just trying to kill God. 
But first we have to get through God's secretary. it goes that way, word. Sorry to hear, though. Take it easy, schnitzel. Thank you for your kind words once again. I'm really glad that I could help. Man, is it really gonna go this way? It's really gonna go this way, isn't it? It's gonna take a while, though. Sorry to hear that word. I know how it can go sometimes. Did I see a hit of 966? Junkie, you really got way too weak. Can't believe it's going this way. This is so dumb, and I feel like I'm just gonna lose against the actual last boss anyway. So. Like, that's going to feel bad. <laughs> but that's okay. It's just, you know? Because the problem is, I don't actually remember anything about the last boss fight. I think so. I think it does. I don't think it lets us go back to safe, but if it does, I obviously will. Henzi is trying so hard. I still like how Celine's arrows work.
that she can shoot basically any distance from anywhere and it always hits. And yeah, Tenzi somehow is the stalwart here, like he doesn't seem to get hurt. And it's really weird. Like, why would he take only one damage from Elizabeth? There's something really weird going on there. Neither. He is like 20 levels below everyone, too. Now I wonder... Thank you for the follow, busy driver. Almost beaten Elizabeth at least. Now we know that the fight can go extremely smoothly after the ads are killed if if I end up in this situation. Just don't necessarily expect me to beat the boss. I hope I will, but, like, we're technically still underleveled. I don't like our odds. It's level 87. Really, Mithra's devotion was all I did futile? Speaking of Mithras, sure, take all the EXP, says. Do you wish for an even bigger cataclysm? I'll turn your sophism to pieces. That, that was, was pure skill! It's so funny. Show you my love for mankind. You who obey the reason of this world. Living begets nothing more than further sins. Despite knowing that, do you intend to keep living? There is no way that you can lighten your load through living. Therefore, what I shall give you is death! This could be a very bad situation. <laughs> right, 
no prana. Um, oh god, he is extremely fast. Level 90. Wait a minute, where'd Tenzi go? Can't believe I have to ask that. God, if this works. No way it will, right? What the? Okay, I just stoned God. <laughs> You'd think so, wouldn't you? I just gotta figure out what I wanna do here. Like, buffing a lot seems like the play to at least give myself some sense of a chance, right? Like, maybe I can use buffs and debuffs enough that it'll make it manageable at this level. Kinda doubt it though. I get the feeling that I will do minimal damage. Like, let's test this. Okay, it might be good. If he just doesn't instantly mark me now, of course. It seems like he's immune to... It seems like he's immune to things that affect the ground. Aside from, like, magic formations. We can't do a lot of damage, but we can do damage. Can I confuse God? Apparently I can. Didn't last very long. I guess because I was attacking him.
this. I wonder, the situation actually doesn't seem that bad. I mean, yes, but it does. Look, he's confused right now. Right, like, isn't that weird? <laughs> in some fights in this game, if you just keep, uh, debuffing the enemy's speed and increasing your own, you eventually become super fast. Yeah, it's a very short loop, I know. <laughs> well, relatively. <laughs> it's easy to become confused once you're stuck. <laughs> a beam! <laughs> I probably shouldn't say this, but why is this less dangerous than fighting Elizabeth? item missed? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm just happy that I seem to have a chance. What on the... Huh. Okay. As long as I can deal damage fast enough, I should be able to win this battle. It's just going to take quite a while. because this is the first fight in which I'm actually using repair kits. Also, it's just not an interesting fight. Still faster than leveling up for it? Yeah, it feels that way. Likely the case. You know what? I should use Tearfing. Even though Sizz looks so odd using a sword. <laughs> I can't believe we're slow poking the devil to death. <laughs> I know, right? That's exactly what we're doing. That's. Isn't that absurd?
No Kronheim, of course. Of course. Oh, is this also the boss of Monster Hunter Generations? <laughs> I wouldn't know, but... Big is true. Check out how many barrier points Sis has. Just ain't no thing. Is Celine over here still managing to make her arrows skid across the ground all the way to the enemy? I can't believe it's come down to this again. It is going to take a while, and it's still faster than grinding it out, I think. Surfing definitely helps. Like, Tearfing is doing way more damage than any of our weapons. make a bow sound when Celine throws an item. Raises questions. I'll be back in a moment again. Let's let's continually slow poke the enemy to death. The last boss will be slow poked to death. Kaboom! Yeah, it definitely does. 
among them the fact that the enemy levels increase way faster than yours would. Like, it's just... it reeks of being designed for more parts to be there than there are, if that makes sense. My suspicion would be that there was more to the end game, just like there was probably more to chapter two, because that would easily explain the curves that happen. Well, the cliffs, really. I don't even know what curse does. It never seemed to do anything. But at least you can pray it away. So, anybody tired of the music yet? No? No one? That's what I thought. <laughs> one repeating joke. It all kind of blends together, doesn't it? <laughs> it's like there's just this one guy on a guitar in the background somewhere who really, really enjoys the sound of what he's doing and doesn't care about anything else. Understand, you do not deserve to live. Well, excuse me. Seems like he's increasingly having trouble doing anything to me. Fight this god, I'll be back here jamming. Yeah, Amplitude is really good. Guitar rig I used to use. Also, my Moo 2000 has really cool guitars for its age. Strong target. I mean, you gotta admit, the game's making me really work for the ending.
repent, then die. What's the point of repenting if you're just gonna die? Ouch, that mildly hurts. <laughs> like, I'm not even paying attention to health much anymore, because unless it gets really low, I don't need to do anything. If it does, I've just got eyes healing spells, right? I don't really need to worry about restoring my BP, even though it keeps me moving. Is this just attrition at this point? Yes. Unfortunately, I can say that yes, that is absolutely the case. It's just attrition. Did I just heal? No, I didn't heal him. I almost healed him. I, I risked it. To think of it. That's right, Selene can heal too. I don't need to rely on anyone else. Phil would rather cure curse than leave it though, because I don't know what exactly will happen from curse. Like maybe it makes you miss a lot, I don't know. against curing. That would be interesting, but I don't want to risk it. I'm just sorry that you guys have to sit through this. <laughs> I know it's a lot. Yeah, it's right there. You can see the barrier points are about 23,000 and the HP is 14.4 thousand. That number keeps coming up. 144. I'm sorry guys. Yeah, it was 144,000. That's the population. I guess it must be from Revelations, that would make sense. It's been a while since I've read Revelations. I 
typically try to avoid reading the Bible, <laughs> even though I have read it cover to cover before. Fair enough. The captions are batting a 0 out of 10 today. I say fair enough and it says, hey Sarah Knox. What? Oh. I guess I allowed that to happen. Um. I assume the Tenzi is basically immortal though, so... What the heck? Tenzi takes one damage from this stuff. I have no idea what made Tenzi immortal. Like, was it gamma radiation? I don't know. Tenzi doesn't believe in God. <laughs> Sign can't stop me because I can't read. This is going to take longer without Maria, unfortunately. Although it does give me a safety net, like I can't die now, not that I was going to anyway. Seriously, Elizabeth was way harder than this because of her ads. And at least she could actually do some really threatening stuff if she was allowed to do anything. I is guilty of jealousy.
Also, just throwing this out here. Pemsey is the one who looks like Jesus. story. The first time I won this fight, the game ran out of memory and crashed. I figure that probably makes you guys nervous, and I figure it probably should. If it dies, it dies. Stability. Oh, the boss got frozen. Briefly. Damage numbers are showing under the boss now. That's not helpful. This got nudged. Not sure if that will affect anything. Come to think of it, just to be safe.
is is I just uh, auto countering over there now? I always find it funny when a delete laser just sticks on screen and waits for its chance to do damage. <sighs> this fight... It's still probably taking me less long to beat this than it would for me to grind up. So, yeah. digit hype. Less than 9,000. I wish I could throw the balance. It doesn't let me do that. They, they're healing items. I would totally throw a hundred melons at him right now. Okay, below 8k. Where's that damn fourth chaos emerald? Thanks for the hydration reminder. Less than 7k. It's popcorn time! This is like taking candy from a baby, which is fine by me. <laughs> Less than 6,000.
time, monster. You don't belong in this world. Less than 5,000. Less than four thousand. Less than three thousand. Less than two thousand. Is that what chaos control is? Less than one thousand. Less than 5,000. Less than 500, rather. Less than 500. Polish humans. Once more. In many months. And years. It's when you last expected. Time. That was pure skill. Time, monster. Over. You don't belong in this world. You uh. knocked out my contact. <laughs> Mankind broke its promise. It tried to stay alive despite its sins. It's as if mud had killed the potter. It wasn't God that we've defeated. Without God? It was the devil. Devil. The devil? The devil and the others didn't exist at the beginning. Then what did we fight against? The evil must have always been dormant inside me. The devil inside us? To justify the crime we had committed. To push the responsibility onto our creator. You created another being. The devil. Humans are creatures that need to feel the pain of their deeds. In the world, only God and mankind existed. 
Sins exist because the devil is tempting us. Not the devil. You should know. Humans were corrupted because God made them immature. Mankind must carry its sins because God made it so. God is the source of sin and evil and the root of everything. If God loved humans, then love comes with pain. The things God has created brought him nothing but pain. And if the devil hates both God and humans, then the devil must also love mankind. I see now. God is both good and evil. Angra Mainyu and Spenta Mainyu were born from the same light. Spenta Mainyu didn't like that Angra Mainyu was trying to correct the world's order. I understood everything. The gods loved mankind and so got hurt and died for it. My head hurts. What the? Sis. Sis. Sis, are you all right? Sis, sis. Sis has become a girl? Sis. Are you awake? Th this is my body? Celine, where's Celine? Ah, where did... And so the curtains closed on that long struggle. Nobody knows what the boundary is between God and devil. Mankind killed God to escape from the original sin. Is there any value to keeping life on this world? To keep living on this world? Does the paradise that all search for truly exist then? If it does exist, then when will it appear? And what is preventing it from appearing? Maybe it's something that cannot exist for mankind. An illusion that pushes them forward. The remaining people are left confused, not knowing what to do. They still have to live, though, and so they continue to move onward. Will you rest a little? I'm fine. We'll be there soon, Maria. How beautiful. Come over here. The sea breeze is a bit chilly. Yeah. Yes? Will you always be by my side? Yes. We have to rebuild it quickly. Let's resurrect Philadelphia! We've survived, so we have to do our best. These are relief supplies from the Emperor. It should be enough to see us through the winter. Our beloved Emperor. It's nothing but instant ramen, though. For the President! Soldiers, lift your swords. Soldiers at rest. Dear Republicans, the Cataclysm is now over. However, there is still much that needs to be done. I do not know that we can accomplish any everything for our sons and daughters. We must make the Republic great and safe again. We must keep in our hearts the wishes of all that died in the Cataclysm. We must go forward. We will all work as one and move together. Long live President Sue! Tiger Mask is alive? I'm glad you're all fine. You don't need to worry anymore. Soon. Oh my. Thanks. I'll take care, Noik. What was it? 
nothing. Must have been the wind. Oh. Noink. Lavia, lunch is ready now. Lightning Blitz, no. See a head mark still alive? I can still remember her sad face clearly. It was when Carl came to Constellarium to kill me. For you, the Five Star Kings fought against Carl for my sake. Meanwhile, Sia took me with her and fled to Philadelphia. Soldiers from Westwood saw us at the back gate, however. Thea fought them all by herself. I couldn't do anything. I knew I was slowing her down. He did, however, tell me about this place and asked me where to hide while she was stalling them. No, asked me to hide there. She urged me to go forward while I was telling her to flee with me. I came to despise myself. Far from protecting the woman I loved, she had come to save my life instead. Then I ran away to your place and hid there. According to rumors, she put my clothes on a Westwood soldier and surrendered. I'm worried about her. Those Westwood bastards are vile and sly monsters. Ah. <sighs> Every time I think about her, I feel my heart breaking. Doing well, Lila. Dear, dinner is ready. Then forever. Many people were born, died, 
their children died and their children's children died too. I will have to stay alive nevertheless. I do not have the courage to keep watching the world changing anymore. For you by my side, I wouldn't be so lonely anymore. Is It's party time! With Sonori Awesome Sound Library. Sound Library. Sound Library.
Well, we occasionally got to see Thil's body. It was in the care of Bjorn Lungstrom, who we killed in a subway twice. And yes, and then Sis and Maria opened a shop in Islud. Okay. Now did I have a place to go back to? Please tell them not to, Father. Shut up. Don't interfere while grown-ups talk. What? What was that noise? Where's the sound effects director? There was a mistake. Do it again. Again. Um, I have to get hit again? That was an interesting sound. Let's go with it. Oh, well, all right then. That's it for this scene then. Thank you, director. <laughs> That's just common knowledge. Let's drink. Just put a straw and... Choo -choo -choo. Eh? Oh, oh, oh. Who did that? Who put real alcohol in the bottle? It must have been you. What? You think it was me? You're only my senior by two months. Stop bullying me. What? Are you gonna shoot at me? I gotta do it all over again because of you. Bring it on. Ouch. You bastard, do you really think you could talk to me like that? <laughs> hey, somebody stop them. Mother, I told you not to overact the scene. Hey, wipe it off. Who the heck are you? Why are you apologizing? Ugh. What's wrong? Did you forget your line? Phew. That guy's mouth stinks of garlic. It's enough to kill me. Hey, what did you have for lunch? Pickled garlic. Don't eat that before a scene. Go rinse your mouth. Come on, go. Didn't you hear the director? I can't go if you don't remove the handcuffs. Uh, oh, oh. Uh, stop that. That tickles. S sorry. But it was just too much. When I use strength, it hurts. And when it's gentle, it tickles. What should I do then? Sorry, but it's true, it tickles. Mister? Hello there, bear pants. It's not bear pants. Sure, sure, so what about today? <laughs> I came to visit you, you're the coolest. Miss, do you keep him close to you? He's so lovely, so I guess it's understandable, but please show some restraint, if you're all right. <laughs> what? Why are you all laughing? And I came all the way here for him. My bad, my bad. How can I make you feel better? Look at my hand. The rubber band will go between my fingers. It's so cute. Um, that's strange. It worked last time. Thanks to you, my strength is coming back. Eh? Really? Please show me more things next time. Yeah, yeah! I have more shooting to do, so see you later. Alright, bye-bye. Yeah! That was just so cute. Alright, next one. Lord Eloard. Without you, I would have gone mad. Thank you, Maria. So, Maria... Can you... Can you forgive me? Eloard. Maria. Don't knee him there. 
Because of all the battle scenes we took, it's become a reflex. Sorry. Sorry, what? <laughs> uh, that happened, apparently. What a shame. I guess. So I'll be back in just a second. Just a second, it won't be long. Is that what chaos control is? Okay, here I am. So, I did say I would show you guys the Arcturus stuff in RO, so... I feel I am obligated to do so. It won't be too interesting, but maybe it'll be a little interesting. Let's see if the game will even run. Oh, hello, Exeth, your judge. Welcome. How are you doing? Off to a great start. The game didn't launch properly twice. Um, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm practically wrapping up here, but... <laughs> uh, let's see. How do I get this to work again? Like, old versions of RO can be notoriously picky. It's difficult to get them to run sometimes. So I'm trying to get RO running over here. It worked the other day. Hmm. Yeah, I'll figure it out. It won't take long. I might just drop DG Voodoo in there or something. That'll probably work. It won't be ideal, but it'll probably work. It's just weird, though. It was working yesterday. Not yesterday, a couple days ago. Yeah, so that works, but it looks like garbage. I guess it'll have to do, though. So I'm sorry, guys. It's going to look like garbage.
So this is my private server from back in the day. Angelic Ragnarok Online. I had converted all of the Arcturus maps. Yeah, it, it probably looks okay-ish, but the text will look really bad. Like, because the scaling is way off? Anyway. Yeah, it has been a long time, I'm sure. I know. Just to prove this is RO, let's go to Pronterra. As you can see, this is RO. Horings wandered the town in my server back then. Anyway. So I implemented all of the Arcturus maps. They were all converted. What am I wearing? That's a good question. A whole lot of odd stuff. But I had Vadzerald. And the teddy bear sack. Bats are old and vads are old. They're not the same item, though. The this is the one that's in the actual game. It's not quite the same weapon, although it's clearly you know based on. As you see, as you can see, I can walk into the interior areas and everything. There's Ragni, of course. The thing is, all the animated parts of the maps just never worked right. And the bridges are completely busted. Is that better? It's not broken, it's just a windy day. As you can see, I hadn't set any mandatory camera angle or anything on the maps either. So you can rotate inside the inner areas and stuff you weren't supposed to in Arcturus. Tried to talk to the cow. Ah, I see. Take care, word. And look, it's a hedgehog. Mm. Yeah, believe me, they looked much better the way I had it before, but for some reason that version just isn't working right now. You kind of miss this music now? I can't blame you. The DG Voodoo watermark is there because they didn't edit the DG Voodoo settings file. Oops. But 
That's what happens when you have to have a contingency plan because the plan you originally had didn't work out. You might notice there are many maps for all of these maps. I generated them using a Ragnarok Online map editor after I had converted the maps. Back when there was hope, yeah. Yeah, it is the same engine after all. Even if Ragnarok's version of it looks a lot better. Relatively. And I can disguise as any of the other characters too, because all of them had their sprites implemented pretty much. There were people playing all the characters. Like, originally I was going to have a big roleplay thing, but. It didn't really work out too well in the long run, unfortunately. See, I can't really remember the things like the map names too well, so you'll have to you'll have to bear with me on that. Believe me, the map names are definitely not the same as anything else that I have. I can probably find them in the server data. Like, there's this file in the map server that controls which maps are loaded, right? So it should be in one of those. If I can just find it. Minotaur. Hmm. Anyway, just give me a moment to figure out map names. Okay, found it. It looks like some of them had to be shortened because of Aro's limitations. Fog works in most of these maps, but the lighting in general can be a little weird in some of them. It depends. So here we have Castle Walkensward in Chapter 1. I don't remember if I ever finished applying the warps for it or not, but they were there for a while, some of them. Yeah, from Chapter 1. It's the Castle Walkensward theme.
Ships were functional. They worked like the airships in RO going between locations. Well, the ship map, like I, I implemented this as something like the airships. As you can see. even had a side quest and like some puzzle stuff inside of the ship. In the original game there's one room in the ship that you can never enter, I think. And like if you were to actually enter it, it you would just discover that the enter map for it exists but there's nothing in it. It's just empty over there. See? You can kind of tell. Here we have a map just called Room. There's nothing in it. But it's a map in the game files that's just called Room. Why? I couldn't tell you. I never figured out what was going on with the textures in this map. They're just kind of busted, as you can see. Here's another mysterious blank map. This one's called Modak. It's not actually blank, though. There's this campfire scene. Here's the half-implemented Laodicea village. has some pretty big problems. You probably notice red dots on the map. That's from where the exits and entrances were implemented. Also, look, it's the infamous ice blocks, except, well, as you can see, They look even worse. Isn't that great? There's a dungeon I didn't go to in my run of Arcturus, the Gold Temple. This is what the Gold Temple looks like. I don't remember how to get the alternate weapons. Oh well. It looks like home. Oof. So it has like these mazes in it.
The Golden Temple in general feels like a dungeon that they meant to use and then realized that they didn't have a place for it, so they just threw it in as a random thing later. No, this is the Golden Temple. It is not related to Nebuchadnezzar. The Golden Temple is reached by boat from Answers um, toward the end of Chapter 1. It's completely optional. It uses the same tile set, yes. But, uh... The Emperor's Tomb, Nebuchadnezzar, is like this. Okay, it's not even the same tile set at all, actually. That's yellow. But yeah, as you can see. And there's this funny case. All the Eldend Castle maps are part of Elhive. Elhive Inner 1 through 4, even though they are Elend Castle, not Elhive Castle. Lot of interesting little things. Also, this is the last boss arena, as you guys know. In the files, it's called Calvary, which has biblical significance. Here's the Eden Undergrounds, and it feels like the day daytime filter is... You know I'm gonna go back to the character select. Yeah. No, it's still applying the night filter. I wonder why. Oh well, whatever. Oh, you finally found out, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, Rhoda worked with me on this project. He created a tool that would allow both creation of the map and images for dungeons like this, and also manipulation of the um, ground attributes so that we could affect what what is walkable and what is not. Here's an unused Eden map. Like, the road looks very different. And there's nothing here except some invisible buildings. Whereas this is what Eden looks like normally, of course. Something I didn't get to show off is that... Huh, there's text on that building? Aside from the Sonori buses that are scattered around Eden, there are also billboards. And if I can just find one of those billboards, I want to show you what's written on them. And then there's the one behind it that says, yo!
<laughs> I expected to actually walk up that for some reason, even though this isn't Arcturus. <laughs> Here's the actual DSEF labs map, including the version of Elizabeth with all the CRTs scattered about. And the other rooms, like this room with all the capsules. This room with all the computers. This room is empty. So yeah, you don't really get to see stuff like this this way normally, right? Here's Dome. And how do I... That's not... That's not what I meant to do. It's already day, yes, but it doesn't look like day. Come on, why is it applying the night effect? I wonder if I can just disable night. Is such a thing possible? Looking at the files. I look at these files now and I'm like, I have no memory of this place. I don't remember how any of this works. It's kind of funny, actually, to be looking at this stuff and have absolutely no recognition of what any of it actually does. You guys are probably amused by me having no idea how to fix these things. You don't need to hide it. It's okay to admit it. That's okay. It's just going to be night in all of these maps while I'm exploring. That's that's all there is to it. So these stairs don't work, you can see. This gate just kind of... yeah. Fountain's missing for some reason. It used to be there. Me, even though I'm just doing this this last bit. Yeah. Hello JD, hello Raiders. I hope I hope you had a good stream, JD. Man, what was like that? As you can see, we've got both versions of Dome. All of the Arcturus maps are imported. The fall works. I type of that. The map looks a lot less interesting without the fog. Well, I completely saved the day. Now I'm just showing off some stuff from my Ragnarok Online server back in the day. <laughs> There's not a lot of interest to show, but you know, it's just... There is stuff, in general. Here is Sardis after the world ends. It's pretty much intact, though. Like, this is a Chapter 4 variation of the map, but you never actually get to go here in Chapter 4, so I guess they never really edited it. And Stream Elements, why do you keep losing your name? That's, that's frustrating, come on. The second one. Because it's marked as a Chapter 4 version.
And here's something you don't really get to see, and apparently none of it is walkable, so I can't even really show you. But... This is a map that's marked as Philadelphia, but it's actually like a destroyed Laodicea. This one's not destroyed, it's an alt version. Another destroyed version seems identical. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Look at... How does that happen? In the files, this is all marked as being Philadelphia, even though it's pretty clearly not. Here's the Ahura Mazda map, but Ahura Mazda itself is missing from the map because you know, that's a character model, not a map model. For some reason, there's a combat map version of Bara in the files. I couldn't tell you why. Notice the water's missing. In a lot of these maps, the water's missing. And in others, they're not. We never really figured out why the water wasn't working properly. It's just one of those things. By the way, do you guys want to know how many maps Constellarium is? Constellarium is 42 maps. I was counting them. Now, you know what makes that hilarious? You want to know how many maps Noah is? Noah is 12 maps. Are they attached by duct tape? They might as well be, right? It really gives you some insight into how how they handled it all, doesn't it? This map is called Ship Small, and I think it's just the map where you're in the rowboat. Oh, no. It's a zoomed out model of the big ship. Here's a map called Tenzi Memory. For some reason, everything is red in this map. I'm sure this says a lot about society or something. And here's the, uh, yeah. Look 
be on the island, please? This is an island only seen in a flashback. As well as in the ending, I believe. Like, I'm pretty sure this is where Eloard and Maria plop down. Here's Kairn Island. You don't really get to see Kairn Island in depth, as I recall it. I may be mistaken. This map is called First Impact, and it's that exact same island from before. I don't really know what it's supposed to signify. I think this is probably the map where you are initially shown, like, the apostles and everything. And it just happens to, happens to be the same reused model that they would use for the ending map as well even though they moved some stuff around. First Impact is not an Ava thing. Have you never heard of the giant impact that created the moon? That's the First Impact. Ava just piggybacked it. <laughs> this is Grandeur's mansion, obviously. What number impact is Genshin impact? Depends on the size of your wallet. Oh, there's tons more places in the game. I'm barely even showing half of them. I'm not even showing half of them. Lavia Pasture. Here's the map that's used for the Zerg rush. <laughs> the Zerger fight. With all the Zergers and the Lurkers. It's funny, the server keeps freezing up, even though it's being hosted locally. <laughs> but then again, it is pretty ancient software at this point that isn't supposed to be used for anything anymore. So this map is called Mind Attack. I don't immediately know if there's anything in it. Oh, there's a boat. There's a chair. <laughs> Here we are, Noah. Visible from angles you normally wouldn't be able to see. The 
version with the button. There's just like a million maps in Arcturus, honestly. I could probably go through them for years if I really cared to, but I think it's about time that I wrap things up. <laughs> but that was a sample of things from my Ragnarok online server back in the day that I'd implemented from Arcturus. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. I am going to send you over to a mouse. <laughs> so be nice and say hello. And until then, enjoy the credits. Thank you all so much for joining me through Arcturus, one of my favorite games.